So let's get started. Um, and just so you know, Gus is coming at some point to review the warning, and I told him to come when it, he has another meeting before this, so I told him to come when he could, and we take up the warning. Um, okay, let's get started. Um, any public comment on items not on the agenda or additions or changes to the agenda? Um, I have something for um, addition okay. to the agenda. Um, Two-step verification from the .gov team. Two-step verification, what does that mean? Complications. .gov is where our website verification is. verification for .gov? Yeah. And I could bring it up under new business or other business okay. or whatever. All right, I don't see Alfred, I don't see Toby. Um, town hall renovation, we're meeting on Wednesday. We haven't really, we haven't met since before Christmas, right? Before Christmas. Because Donna and John were in California and then the, then the weather. So we're meeting this week Wednesday to get caught up on what's going on. I do know that Ernie, Greenline Builders, and John and folks have been working over there. And Donna did send around a few pictures, and they're making some progress inside, so that's good. Good news. Um, John, do you have any update from CDRPC that you want to tell us about? Um, I don't. Our meeting ended early because of um, the weather. Last week? Yeah, there was rain and snow and ice. I don't know where you were, but um, the Secretary of... Uh, the ETA Commerce Community Development gave a really nice presentation. Uh, Mike Sher Michael Sherman talking about their efforts to try to reinvigorate what they called, I think, uh, job centers. Mm -hmm. Discussed um, how there, how many big towns, I call them towns, they're really cities. Burlington. Like from, uh, the Burlingtons, the Banktons, the Brattleboro's, the Barry's, my pleasure, all the Rutland's. There were eight or nine of them. Um, and he said he drew a 30 mile radius around each one of them um, that would comprise the entire job market for the state and the, the what we call the job sheds that flow into them. So, um, they're interesting. So, yeah, so they, they looked at, you know, so they, they wanted to get a sense of where people commute to, basically, and, and you know, where they should focus their efforts. Um, so he, you know, you mean on very long and short of it. Pardon? I'm, I'm long, on I'm growing jobs, you mean? Growing jobs, yeah. Um, and yeah, where to encourage, where, where, where they need to focus more attention, where where it's doing all right, where they can focus less attention. Hmm. Um, but also uh, said that he, it's important to create incentives for people to move out to our countryside too and keep those towns alive and reinvigorate economies there where they're hurting. And mm -hmm. Of course, I had to bring up, well, Act then how about Act 46 and how right. is that going to fare mm -hmm. in terms of or how our community's going to fare when we, we've all, we lost our dairy farms and our timber industry just about and our sawmill industry. And what we have left there are some post offices and schools, and now that we're going to lose the schools. Um, and he was kind of <laughs> at a loss. He's like, well, you know, Maybe through innovation we can we can you know maybe we don't need school we don't need bricks and mortar we can have kids for instance come to the library and have somebody who's an expert in the field and they can meet with them and I said I'm talking about elementary school right here. because this guy has yeah, he doesn't really know and, the, the Act 46 and, issues you know, and, and that, well you know it's not his agency and I said no it's not your agency but you know I'm, are you communicating with them and are you collaborating with them because you seem to be working at cross purposes so. He kind of was careful that he acknowledged that there may be some problems there, but he had to be careful, of course. So we got I got the message across for our town anyway to him. Um, that's about all there was, because they, they closed the meeting at 8 o'clock as soon as he was done, and we got out of there. So. As a side note, when I worked in Addison County a short time, we used to do well, we have all this in CBRTC too. Is I mean, we did GIS mapping based on all the census data. You know, all of those trips, we identify all those centers, but you pretty much know where most people are coming from, and and that's valuable to towns like Callis in terms of beginning to establish 
you know, transit routes and and even how you want future development to kind of happen around that. So if, if you might, if they haven't already given it to you, you might actually get some of those map, GIS map downloads. I think I think it's pretty intuitive. Right? We know which way the traffic's flowing and where the. Well, you will be you'll be surprised. I'm we found out some really interesting things. We mm -hmm. really mapped that out. Yeah. Place to help design transit routes and things like that down there with our transit providers. Mm -hmm. It's valuable. Okay, good info. Thanks, John. Thanks, Rick. Act 46. Um, I had hoped that we could get together with some school board members um, to talk about what we discussed with Jeff in executive session last week. And there's an Act 46, Act 49, Articles of Agreement type meeting at, it's at U32, I think, right? At U32. Um, and the next Cal school board meeting is Thursday the 17th but Jim's not available. So we need to see if we can come up with a date and a time to meet um, with the school board and Jim and go over some of the ideas that we discussed um, last, I guess it was last week, right? Mm -hmm. Last week. So I don't know what people's schedules look like. If you're available any other evening, Saturday, Sunday, I know Jim said he was, I thought I brought the paper with me, but I didn't. Jim's available, I think he said 18th, the 22nd, maybe the 21st. Um, 18th of January, which is, that's a Friday. Friday. Yeah. A Friday. He did do a Friday night? I don't know. What a fun way to spend a Friday night. Hey. Date night. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Because I think we, when we talked last, we wanted to do this meet thing sooner rather than later. Do people want to get back to me with schedules? I don't know, Prince, if you know. I will make it work myself, and I, I know with Dot, she'll do it if she possibly can. Right. Mm -hmm. Same here. Yeah. Okay. You too. Okay. So like, if it was on a Saturday, even. Well, you went you to me every other weekend, so I'm on this weekend. You're on this weekend? I'm on this weekend, but Friday the 18th is fine. And that one is yeah. And um, I, have to, I have to drive to Maine on business, either Saturday or Sunday, but I don't know which. So Friday would be best. But mm -hmm. let me, if you give me some notice, I'll try to work my schedule around that. Right now, I'm, I'm not available late. In the afternoon this Friday, odds are that's going to be on. But if it doesn't, then that's okay. But you could do like Friday evening, seven o'clock. You know, if we could say let's hold it to a half an hour. Yeah. Um, we I would do a special agenda, and I can include the select the school board, but I don't know if you have to do your own. A special agenda. We we have we have to warn hours. It. We've got to warn it for that twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Yeah, right. for a special, a special meeting. meeting. That's I mean, I'm right. happy to do the agenda for both. If we we can, yeah, we pretty much know what we want to talk about. I'm guessing so. I did by chance forward Jim's email with his dates to anybody. Then. Yeah. Take a look. See if I, have I don't think so. See, now it says canceled on November 14th. Washington Central School District meeting. No, that, was, yeah, that, was, that was like the town meeting. Yeah. Oh, that was, that's right. that's that was the right. first round of right, right. transition board. So we went, I went to, um, and John was there, Rick was there, Scott Thompson, Dot, I'm trying to think who else. Anyways, it was a, kind of a meet and greet with Janet Ansel, Kimberly Jessup, representatives, and Andrew Perchlick, how do you say his name, was supposed to be there, but he, but he forgot to come. He got busy doing chores or something and spaced it out. So anyways, a lot of the discussion was um, about Act 46. There were people from East Montpelier. Um, anybody else from other towns there besides Cal East Montpelier? I don't think so. Um, 
Yeah, East Montpelier put it on their front porch forum, but for some reason it never got. Wayne was there, and Sway Ellen. Right. It wasn't for some reason it wasn't on Alice's front porch forum, so I don't really know how people would have known if they didn't go to the co-op. Yeah. Kind of thing, but it was a good meeting. Um, actually, it was better attended than what I might have thought on a freezing cold Saturday morning, and it was cold in there. Um, Boy, are you getting wimpy? That's right, I am. I don't know, it's a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was quite a bit of hot air, so it warmed up some. Um, <laughs> um, so we kind of, like I said, it, it pretty much was about Act 46. That was the main topic of conversation. Um, you know, making, reminding our representatives that they represent us um, and making them aware of what the people think. We did hear that there are more people in favor, in favor of Act 46 than what we apparently know about. And in our district or statewide? In our district, in, mainly in our, like in our town even. Well, this is what I know, I'm just trying representatives to be. represented. Right. So I, I was, yeah. was uh, gave us some thought, and I, I think we should have a public forum, have a meeting, invite everyone in town to educate them on the pros and cons mm -hmm. of Act 46, or the stated pros and cons, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then what we understand is the impact is going to be to the town of Calais. And then I, I would suggest, because there was a representation that there's a either a, a I don't know you said a majority. I, I think Janet Ansel said that it was a significant number. She believed based on her conversations. Right. Um, but they they were intimidated. I don't know who has intimidated anyone in this town into not being able to express their opinion. I'm oh, right, right. Yeah. That, that was, I thought, that's when I actually left the meeting. I said, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to listen to this. Because I then asked who, who were some of the people and she wouldn't, couldn't give me a single name. Right. So I, I would suggest that we have a informal meeting. It doesn't have to be a meeting of select board, but a town meeting. Mm -hmm. And invite people to have a like conversation. An meeting. And then at the end, we can hand out paper ballots so people aren't intimidated and they can give us their, their sense of whether they think it's a good idea or not. I know uh, my expectation if people have all the facts in front of them, uh, they won't think it's in their interest as Cal's taxpayers um, to see their school closed down potentially and at the same time uh, pony over $2.5 million. I think people are, have been led to believe this is gonna save them money. And um, last I knew if you add $2.5 million to the tax rolls, that costs money. Mm -hmm. That's my simple, dumb yeah. approach to math. Um, I mean, initially when <clears throat> we started going to some of the meetings at the school, there was quite a few people there sometimes. Um, and I don't recall that Not there was a, a significant person. number of folks that were in favor of it. At the time, we were still trying to understand what it all meant. That was even before the debt issue. The only people I've heard express support of Act 46 was our former chair, Chantel, mm -hmm. and the current chair. Those are the only people from Calus that I know of. I know Dylan Burns and I mean, uh, I Dylan for and Dylan did. four years, and now I think in that meeting it sounded like uh, David Healy was supporting. supporting yeah, I don't think these people know everything. Really I think if they know more. Yeah, I mean, I just, I've talked to him. I mean, if David Healy is of the belief that to save him money, he might be supportive of it. I mean, yeah, that could be a reason. You know but if he finds out it's going to cost him a lot more and his taxes are going to go up yet again as a result of this. Well, that's, um, I've run into a little bit of that, too, you know, where people have just been on the misinformation side. Oh, well, this, our taxes are too high. They said, you better pay attention, I think. You're in for a very rude awakening. It's cost shift. So, yeah. um, so we would do this as a select board. I don't understand. I guess I don't understand. Haven't for a while now. Why the school board did not hold more or make more of an attempt to have a public informational meeting like we're talking about? We did. We we had several of them actually, and we called it Callus. The original uh, 706B what? committee, yeah, we had several meetings. In we Calus, had, you had yeah, the school community forum? Well, we had, yeah, we had we meetings at we the did. school about Act 46, but I'm talking about, like, what we're proposing. Oh, on this? Yeah. That's a good question. We've been so engaged in trying to 
it, basically Don and I, mm -hmm. you know, on this, that are kind right. of the ringleaders, none of the, Susanna is pro-consolidation, I think, and Katie, you know, she's kind of not that engaged in it at all, and that mm -hmm. Chris is engaged at all. He's, so. he's, well, he's brand new, too. Yeah, I think he doesn't know anything. So that's, on, in, mm -hmm. you know, that's basically. How do you think the school board would react to us doing I think it's fine. Like I think they, I mean, we'd support you, at least three of us, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I think the other ones would, too. That, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good idea. And we would, we can. Right, we I'll, could do it like on a Saturday or yeah. something. Yeah, we should. Public information on the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, we, we're like the folk, school board. Right, what do folks think? It was, it worked out, I mean, what you're talking about is, is creating a productive conversation like we did with Memorial Hall. Memorial Hall. Yeah, yeah. Last time exactly. we had a very contentious issue and. Right, it worked out well. It worked out well. Mm -hmm. It yeah. worked out well. I mean, at the very least, inviting people so that neighbors can hear from each other because. Right. It's important. Because the people, you know, the people that we're talking about are intelligent and informed mm -hmm. and and they have different perspectives. Right, and, and sometimes, people, right. Okay, so let's try to set something up. Um, I think, I guess we should do it sooner rather than later because I I'm still, un, be I'm because still un, unsure about the calendar with, they're talking about doing some kind of, um, the meeting that was postponed, doing it like on February 19th, yeah, right? Move it to February, yeah. I think it's important because our representative, Janet Ansel, um, seemed to have reservations about pushing too hard, mm -hmm. and and then um, said she was, she spoke about some legislation she's looking to introduce, right? Um, and but said at some point, and my recollection is that she wasn't too sure how well it would go in the legislature, so I suggested to her that, well, you know, let's put together a list of people who would help back you up and support your legislation so we could, you know, and if you let us know that you're running into troubled waters, let us know and we'll get these people to turn out. Right. And that's how you do it. And that's when she said, well, I'm not so sure that everyone support doesn't support us, 46. Right. And then, so she then started like arguing against her legislation <laughs> and and then, then that's when we got that anecdotal right, um, right. statement, and then she couldn't give names. So, so my sense is, and you know, again, party politics. If you're a true advocate, you bring your people down, and you're proud to have those people okay. come and advocate with you. Right. But if you don't want to upset the party leadership, you don't bring all the they rabble have, have from have your town down place. there and have them embarrassing the party mm -hmm. leaders. Right. So I got a, I can't, that's when I walked out because I, you know, um, being a lobbyist and I've been over there for 28 years, mm -hmm. um, I know exactly what's going on and what is, I believe the, the representative was, was meaning. So I think it's important that. Because we're going to have to have time to, we should have, if we're going to do this, then we should have some kind of a handout with, you know, mm -hmm. just the facts yep. um, and not long and involved because people won't, people will generally won't look at yeah. something that's more than a page long. Mm -hmm. Right. So we would need to do something like that. Um, what do you, hey Gus? I Gus? think it's simple, you know, three, you know, open the meeting by, you know, yeah. by a show of hands, how many people think Act 46 is gonna save you money? And have That's them the raise their thing. hands, right. and that we don't even need to know their position. But they, right. So I, I would say that that could take you into the intimidation arena no. realm. Right. Yeah. I would say start with start with facts and start with information, mm -hmm. and don't put people on the spot. Um, I think we want to have Janet and Kim. Yeah, I, I at least Janet. Well, and I think we should invite the senators from Washington. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Maybe a Sunday afternoon. A Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I like it. Um, I think the interesting school. thing in the conversation was that Janet didn't want to touch the AGS decision. You, that struck me right away. That well, they, anything that's involved in the lawsuit, now they've already created the excuse to not do anything. So now we can't work on improving you know, the law of the land right now it's, as it's been interpreted by the Board of Education. You can't fix the that. Deal. There are claims that they didn't follow the law by our representative. Right, right. So if we try to 
clarify that, well, that there's a pending lawsuit, and mm -hmm. their rule, they have a rule, House rule, that, that doesn't, that we don't engage on legislative level, on legislative matters that are, that might interfere or uh, the core be matter. involve be related to a lawsuit that's pending. Mm -hmm. They can change that rule. But, well, no, they suspend rules at the end of the session, every session, um, for a whole variety of rules. Um, you know, so this is... Yeah. Well, let's put, see if we can come up with, um, like, a Sunday afternoon. I was actually going to bring up the... This kind of is part of what we might do, um, is put together a letter from the select board. It doesn't have to, to Janet and our three senators. Just about some things we'd like to see happen in the legislature, Act 46 being one. I know we've had other issues that we've asked to have brought up and they don't go anywhere. But I was thinking maybe we, the board, the select board as a whole, could put a letter together to our delegation. Like the you know, speed limit bill. The speed limit yeah. one, there was one, that was one of them. And I forget that we've had a couple other things over the years that we, What's the speed limit one? One that gives us authority we don't have now? Right, to reduce speed limit. Okay. If it's yep. Without having to do a traffic study. Traffic study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oops. Oops. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there's other things that we would, you know, like to see. We can think of on. stuff. <laughs> I'm sure we can think of stuff. But I just thought maybe, you know, as is, we could put together something. But I was going to suggest a Sunday in Callis to have an appreciation dinner. Well, but too. maybe this public forum thing is more important right now. Although I think an appreciation well, dinner is really important. Is important on this because if our representative mm -hmm. is of a certain belief, right. and it is, or it, and if it turns out it is not reflective mm -hmm. of what what the tr ground truth, right. truth thing of it is, um, then uh, I think that would be helpful to correct that. Okay. Misunderstanding. If that's in fact what, so what do you it might want to be do? that we, we don't have our ear to the ground as, as we think. We before. might not. What was the impetus for the legislation that you guys circulated coming out of after the meeting? Janet shared her proposed. Right. I asked her. I, okay. I asked her. Oh, I, I sent it around. Yeah. I sent it around to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I sent it to the school board as well. Yeah. And I, I can't remember the details, but that seemed like the. My recollection, my walk away was it's it draft bill. It helps with the issues that we're some of the issues, yeah. Right, right. So where was the impetus for that if you felt at the meeting like Janet is isn't getting a clear message from the town? Which I think she's kind of compromising away a lot of you know, they're they're this whole I'm with with the with kind of the base Based when they basically ignored the AGSs from the schools, alternative gov government, mm -hmm. governance systems. Mm -hmm. You know, this, so like, I think that she's trying to throw a bone mm -hmm. to us. And the reality is, there is no bone in this. You know, for these small rural schools, they're, mm -hmm. getting, they're getting really damaged. Yeah, it's all so it's it's, gonna, it's And where they can really make a difference, they're not touching it. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's shown no backbone on this. Either she doesn't agree, either she supports it, or she doesn't mm -hmm. have that. I mean, well, Kimberly might, does. Kimberly well, she's might, talking about extensions. I don't. I don't know what extensions are really going to do. There needs to be a fix to the problem, not an extension. But it might help her and to phase to, in of unified to, tax rate to really have phase to pain. be able to say, look, you know, I'm hearing from my constituents, and there is this is. You know, there are a few people that support it, and, and maybe we're all wrong, all of us that have been to any of these meetings, would, that we're all wrong, and maybe we'll learn something. I, I mean, I hear what you're saying, John, or, or, and Denise, and an extension doesn't accomplish, every, every, it doesn't accomplish, it doesn't solve the problem, but it certainly kicks the can. In it a, does. In, it does kick the can. Which isn't, if that's all you can get, then at least the conversation is still alive and the status quo has Right, but during that shifted extension, time. you have to come up with some solutions, I would think. I mean, delaying the time that we take on $2.1 million in debt from another town doesn't make it go away, it just moves it out. Well, it, well but presumably in the, in the meantime, they are continuing to pay. And it will, and it will reduce. Well, it will reduce it, but it's still. I'm sure incrementally. Right. It's but but it yeah. saves the conversation for a different political environment. Could be. 
be. All right, which we so, thought we might get after right. this in the fall. You remember the tenants will one piece of this issue too. Right. That's of one course. piece. That's one of piece. So, yeah, there are a lot of other big issues, but so do you want me to contact the school board or do you want me to draft up some kind of a notice and get back to everyone? I don't know. I think we should have it at the school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people are, are right there and, and they're there. Yeah. They yeah. see the school. Mm -hmm. so, well, that's where we meet anyway. So yeah. for town meeting, this isn't really a town. I don't want to call it a town meeting, and then we got to go through that whole process of boarding. This is a public no, no, information no, no, meeting no, no. regarding Act Forty Six. And it's our, it's basically it's, our town hall. It's right. our yeah. space. It's right. That's right. That's right. Where else are we gonna have it? Right. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, no, we could have it at you know Maple Corner, East Calis Rec Center. True. Mm -hmm. But I think school we should have it at the good. school, and I hope that school. we would have a really good turnout. We're going to have to start, we want to have, if we're going to have it in February on a Sunday, we want to have enough time prior to that to announce it several times on Front Porch Forum and other yep. places and get a document ready. And you're going to want to stay clear of school vacation. Right. And when is school vacation? School Sweet. vacation is... Um, it will start the 25th, right? So the weekend of the 23rd would be out. It's not going to be good. The weekend following won't be good. The weekend of the 16th is a long weekend, which you know, people go either way on whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. Okay. How about the first weekend? Is that too soon? Well, it's kind of soon. We're going to put together a document and do it three days. Well, I was looking at either February 10th or 3rd for an appreciation dinner, so we could do it one of those two weekends. The 10th might be better because it gives us a little more time to pull things together. We, we can, remember too, we've got a lot of information that we've, I've been involved with this since the beginning and we've, right. Scott, we've, well, we've done summary documents so we can actually get together and put that summary document mm -hmm. together, kind of pros and cons. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there are some we want to show, we need to yeah, it's a balance. About a right. story. We it, that is today's the fourteenth, so that's one, two. Yeah, that's almost four weeks away. So that gives us time. Yeah, it's a, and you don't need to overthink it to yeah. Rick's point. And if you push it out any further than that, right? And it's not the Super Bowl, is it? Do the tenth. Not, I the don't Super know. Super Bowl's the third. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important to know. <laughs> okay. That's a, just yeah. checking. <laughs> I could care less if it's Super Bowl. I know, but, I know. but no one would show up if it were. Right. 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 All right, so let's shoot for the 10th. Um, I can send a note to the school board okay. that we're going to try to do this and see if the school's available and can contact Kat. And we can do this as a select board. It doesn't have to come from a joint, anything from the school board. We'll be involved as far as I can't promise for the rest of the obviously we'll be. Yeah, I mean, obviously I think you might will. be. I there, actually but. think the whole board would be. Involved, but we'll let's see. Right. I can't promise it. Right. So far, uh, the tenth. But we'll war and you know, happy yeah. warned as a special yeah. select board meeting, well, public informational meeting. Because if we're all there, it's a, it's, more, it's a community meeting that the select board is. Right. But we still need to right. So right. We still need to advertise yeah. that. As what, a, did, what did we call agenda? the one we did at Memorial Hall? Because we thought carefully about what name we were attaching. Right, I'd have to go. I think we look. called it. Do we call it a public forum? I think we called it a public informational meeting or something mm -hmm. like that. I'll go back and look. But I like. But the agenda. there might actually be some value to branding these kinds of conversations with mm -hmm. the same. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that like one that. went to my surprise. This went very well. Become a mm -hmm. routine. Mm -hmm. John, yeah, I well, when we need to, we have a. Oh, okay, that's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll go back and look at the. One we did there was just like a it was in July, 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 wasn't it? July of was it really? Yeah. Wow. I remember it was warm. So I remember wearing shorts. But I don't wear shorts until July. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And corduroys. Uh, right, right, exactly. Um, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. And we'll put off the um, the dinner appreciation dinner. Yeah. This is more important, I think, right now. All right. So, very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And Gus is here, and I told him we would stop what we were doing and do warning when he was ill. Come join yeah. us. Come join us. Hi, Gus. Hi. Summer out there now, right? Yes. Yeah, Ooh, 19 degrees at my house when I left.
Yeah, it was like 12 below this morning. Yeah, I was going to say it was like 14 was below. Cool? It was 14 below. Mm -hmm. yeah, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. So do we, can you call the warning up with the Jim Barlow language? Oh, close front of the show. Okay. remember last meeting we took out the agent to convey real estate there's no need to we don't need that um, Jim explained to us why here you'll see his comments and the over there about the law agent it's really a town agent um, who is that who do we always want in that one Tina okay. Okay. so it, she would probably still mm -hmm. do that um, did you have a chance to look at the warning? Um, I did, but it was a week ago, so okay. it's not fresh in my mind. Uh, but it seemed pretty straightforward other than the stuff that he wrote to you about. About uh, with the, the, uh, the tax stuff? Yeah and, yeah, and then the other thing I'm not sure about is I thought when you said to elect the moderator for the, ins oh, for the ensuing year, does that mean for the following year? The, the, the year, it would be from town meeting to town meeting. In other words, the moderator serves for the year. Right. Not just on one day. It's a whole year job. Did you not know that? No, and I the pace, that. And the pay is the same. That was his dirty piece. <laughs> no, there's only been a decrease in the first two years. I think I got eighteen dollars. You got eighteen dollars? Yeah, so we're more than that went away. Well, but then yeah, I got your pay. <laughs> yep. And you're going to do the school one too? Yep. As far as I know. Okay. Um, I think we tried to put things kind of in the same order we've put them in previously. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do you see any reason to change any orders of anything? No, I don't think so. Um, the, the only thing I'd say is if, and I don't know that you're going to get any special articles warned. Last year, for some reason. Resolution, you mean? Uh, yeah, a resolution or a. I haven't heard of anything. But should you get one, I just would not listed after other business and last year you did which was i think the first time okay. that it happened um and i know people feel different ways about resolutions but my own feeling is it gets for some group of people they're usually pretty important yes yeah. the issue is you know refugees or war in iraq or food safety or immunizations yeah, I remember that one. Actually, wow. actually, one year we had a debate about immunizations, and there was that. nothing. On, there was nothing being debated. There was no warning. There was no warning. People just started being terrified. That was probably they just Janet about what was going on in the state house, yeah, and somebody asked if they could end debate, and I said, "There's." We're not debating. We're not debating this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Um, so anyway, I guess I would just say, you know, should you get a resolution about impeaching yeah, the president know. or right. about Act 46? Have you heard anything like that? No, I'm just, I, I'm. Yeah. We haven't gotten one any so no, far. No, I haven't, and I haven't wouldn't it have to be out there by now? Yeah, I don't know what the date is by now. Well, it has to get to you by the time you've got to warn the thing. So. Right, well, and, but, but it also, there's deadlines in statute for submission of, um, Resolutions or items for the warning, all that stuff. With some statute. a certain percentage of the voters, right. some price right. signatures. Yeah. So um, one of the things that we talked about, and we don't have to decide at this minute, but um, Sandra had gone through the treasurer and updated some of these articles to make to try to make them more clear because every time you somebody reads it they can maybe interpret things a little differently but Jim said that you only need to say one time about the delivery and um, and so forth so that was his suggestion that we take it out after we've said it once Tell did it have to be said yeah, and I thought he was basically saying you should combine in essence combine articles 10 and 12 um, or they, did he? But maybe, maybe not quite, but... I printed off his, I think I printed And it off. basically the same, because it's spelled out Article 2, you don't have to repeat it under Article 2. Right, yeah, I guess I just said he didn't have to repeat it. 
That, that's true. I guess I, I don't know whether you could add a different clause about the grace period in Article 10 and eliminate Article 12 altogether. Right. Well, and I sent you his email where he explained all this. I don't know if you had a chance to look at it, but I, he's I, saying that it could cause a problem because yep, I, you can't I, amend an article that you've already voted on. Right. And yeah, he, he basically well, just found it to be an well, opportunity for confusion, right. especially if there were amendments. Right. Yeah, but I, I guess I'd also ask him whether you can combine the, the grace period into Article 10 or not. So can Article 14, 10, and 12, is that, was that the ones? Yeah. Uh, no, 14. Oh, I'm sorry. 10 is 10. 12. Yeah, 12 is the grace period. Yeah. So are, can we combine? Yeah, well, I mean, you, you, you've, got the due, you've got the due dates in Article 10, so it just made mm -hmm. sense to me that you you could also have the grace period in the same place. You could, but then, but don't you have to up or down each one? They're different. They're really different questions, the grace period and... Well, the grace period is really, you could view it that way. I'd view the grace period as sort of amending the deadlines. So. Right, yeah. Shall each property tax assault any of you want Well, it's interesting but here. That's up to you. I'll do it either way. I don't, I don't feel strongly about it. My that. reaction to, to Jim's notes was, I mean, we all know that those were important clarifications. Right. But I don't see any reason we couldn't just be really clear what our intent is around ter interpretation. I mean, after? Perhaps after we vote. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just to kind of, you know, draw we, that line. Right. We didn't really have, we had one. We had one. One person that was very. But we wanted, but it's. Confused. You know, we could say point, it's point taken. Yeah. So we can be clear about how we intend to interpret because we've yeah. some confusion. We can make sure Katie captures it in the minutes so it still goes in the record. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're good, I would think. Um, we had some issue and all that stuff. Right. I gather. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't take much to figure it out, does it? <laughs> right. And all it takes is one person to really challenge the issue. But if we just say this is how we're going to interpret it, right? And, we, and if we're consistent in how we interpret it, I think that's the goal. Right. So and that we're transparent. Consistent. Right. Right. Yes. <clears throat> all right. So is everybody in agreement to accept Jim's changes? Yep. Okay. And then the big question is about the tractor. <laughs> Um, you know, maybe we just take that article out and we can talk about that more when we do budget stuff and it's not going to make a difference to Gus if we take it out or leave it in at this point, I don't and think. And just put it in the budget instead of separate? No, no, not do it at all. Just don't do it this year? Mm -hmm. Well, that would help a lot of things, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was going to be something I was going to suggest under when we have our budget discussion, which everybody's welcome to stay and listen to. Um, well, that's completely up to you, not to yeah. me. So if you want to have a debate about it, we can have one. If you don't want to give people the opportunity to debate it, that's up to you. Yeah, and we might just nix the whole idea because budgets are really tight. <coughs> um, I can see, Gus, there being a lot of maybe debate over the fire department, the great fire department. <coughs> They are going to have somebody from the fire department in the audience to help explain what they're doing. What they're doing is what they should have been doing right along, but didn't, and which is what East Montpelier does, is they have a capital reserve fund mm -hmm. for replacement of equipment. But they originally started out, they were going to ask us for 40000 mm -hmm. um, And we had, you know, like, oh my god. So they reduced it to thirty one, but, you know, it's 31000 a year for the next, however, any well, if it's a reserve fund, it probably is never going to go, go away. away. Yeah, right, it's never going to go away. <laughs> when, even when they get a new piece of equipment, they're going to start right. building up for the next Right, and that, it makes perfect sense. It's just a lot of money to start asking for all at once. Well, yeah, I, I think there's also a fair question that various people, like Ben Naylor, used to debate is of, you know, why tax somebody now for a piece of equipment you're not going to buy for 10 years mm -hmm. when Woodbury can borrow at tax exempt rates and 
charge us when you need it, not 10 years before you need it. It's a fair, it's a fair issue question. for yeah. people to debate. Yeah. There's an answer to that, though, too. Well, yeah, there is. But we don't need to debate that now. The lost every year. Right. Yeah. You're essentially using up that value every year, so you're right. just capturing back. Thanks, Ray. Right. right. So yeah. That's the countervail. That's the, that's the counter. Yeah. Yeah. Unless first. you're going to be dead by the time. It doesn't matter. Even though you're getting any old Well, people. it might matter to some people. Well, right. it's not a house. You know, every year that that's used, you've right. used up a... Yeah, so I just well, and that's the and that's the debate we have over yeah. you know over yeah. things, and that's when it's up to the voters. That's why yeah. a question like this should come to the voters, and not because they were hoping that we were going to put it in our budget, select board budget, yeah. and we said no, not for that kind of money. Yeah. Brand new, brand new thing. It's a little bit like people sending their kids to the schools here. Sent three or four kids to the schools here. We paid for them, my kids included. And as soon as your kids are done, you still you run to Florida. You establish residency in Florida, and you summer up here, and you don't pay your taxes. And right. So then, yeah. So there's yeah. an inequity there, and it's it's similar to the argument to pay pay forward on this stuff. Is there anything else, Gus, that you can think of? It looks pretty straightforward, and it's you know it's not 28 items. That's nice. It's really short this year. Yeah. It's remarkable to me how short it is, and how considering all of the mm -hmm. time and. And we're not done either. No, we're not done. No. Alright. Anything else you want to know about town meeting ahead of time that we can tell you with? You know, it's I think it's better for the moderator to not be real involved in whatever controversies that are going on. So I don't right. my job's to manage the discussion. It's not to Yeah. Have you gotten anything from the school? A, a warning? I have I mean, not it's been like kind of all over the place about I, what they're going to do and what they're not going to do. The la I've traded voice messages with Susanna, um, and the last one I got from her was just essentially we don't know what we're doing yet, and that yeah. was probably two weeks ago. And I know now there's been an extension of deadlines, but she wasn't sure whether they were right, going to that was gonna mean. warrant a budget at that point. So yeah, I assume they now will. But I'll yeah, we're trying to leave that up to them to. The agency of education is saying do not introduce any budgets. Right. But some districts are and some aren't. You know, it's maybe, all, all over Maybe it could be, I don't know, here's a question. If someone, if the school board, which is statutorily obligated to present a budget, um, if they opt not to, as the superintendent is currently saying, they're not going to do, mm -hmm. as he was advised by the agency of education, this is very political. Mm -hmm. um, then he, then uh, there would be no budget voted on the floor of town meeting. If someone were to take the numbers that have already been worked up for each town school district and present them on the floor under new business or something, could they have that vote even though they're typically voted on by, excuse me, Australian ballot? in lieu of no budget. That could come up. You might want to... This oh, is probably right. going right. to come even up. The elementary, even the elementary budget is Australian now. Right. Right. So we got a problem that says they have to be voted on by Australian. We might want to try to get an answer to something like that. If they... The town has voted to vote by Australian ballot, so I don't know that a, a vote from the floor... Mm. Would be binding. Would be binding. So we'd have a special meeting, I guess. More well, and so, right. and so what is the, what is the harm of presenting for Australian ballot vote a budget for the Calis Elementary School, right? I think there's, I don't think there's any harm. I can imagine lots of harm in not doing it, right, even sure. though there's a state sure. direction or super right. not to, but I don't, well, different, the harm well, different school boards from the information that I've been seeing, different school boards are going to be doing different things. Some are going to put forth a budget. They don't care what the AG, Agency of Education says. And some aren't. Do you, already, know, do you know? We already, I'll tell you where we are right now. Dot and I are going to try to get the budget that we recommended to mm -hmm. for this interim yep. school board. We're going to try to get that on the agenda for Thursday night, and we will try to adopt okay. it. Depends on support. I mean, I can't tell where that's going. Mm -hmm. I need three, three votes. votes. Yeah. I need three votes. I need Katie on this one because that's where we come from. Probably. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're violating your statutory well, I know that. obligations. Yeah, that's that's right. 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 Education has yeah. no authority to direct I you. I agree. That's what our argument is. And, that's and you're not preserving your options. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. We're, if you have no budget, yeah, then, you, I, then you always Yeah, because I, I really don't think, I mean, I, a lawyer might tell us differently, but I don't think that if somebody just proposed the budget on the floor that it would be binding since the town voted that. I don't yeah. think the town, you, I there has need to be. There had to be Australian bank. Right. So I think yeah, yeah. if you don't want something, then you're out of luck. That's exactly our point. And that's right. what and the that's lawyers are going to talk about. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. you got to preserve the options. Right. You gotta pre I think we got to, mm -hmm. I think I, if it were me, I would say let's just do it the way we've always done it. And try. And then if we can't, and then if they say, that you you couldn't do that. Oh well. well just right. Right. Oh, fine. Oh, so no harm, no harm. No, you know, no. Right. Well, what seats are coming open on your school board this season? Ah, uh, I'm not sure who is coming open. I'm not. Um, I think what it says it? on the warning. Does it say on the warning? The bottom. There's two. Two directors. Did Chris? Did Chris just take? Chris died. Katie Reed and Drew he Lamb. Okay, yeah, so Chris took, Chris, Chris took Drew's seat. Yeah. Chris who? Cataract. Cataract. Uh -huh. Drew's coming back, though. Yeah, he is, but I don't think he's interested. <laughs> it's too bad. So Katie Reed and, and, and Chris. 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 Yeah. He wasn't necessarily. Oh, yeah, he was neutral. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you got to take a stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two, two seats available. Well, that's what we should find out who seats are. We're trying to get yeah. this on. Like I, mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't hurt to, to just do it the way you've always done it. Because yeah. it's, kind of, right. it's kind of up in the air. Nobody really knows the answers. Yeah, well, I, we've already got the budget because, right. Bill, we had to create it to recommend. Right, but don't forget, you got it, and I don't have it in front of me, but you got to get it to Judy by a certain date to be in the town report. Right. Well, we're, for three weeks. Early thing to do it is Thursday because we right. have to approve. But you might want to know what those dead, you know, check in with what we'll those check deadlines in. are. You got the budget in hand here. It's not with 32. I mean, do you have it in hand? We've we got a copy in our own reports, in our reports from that board meeting where we we uh, recommended it. Okay. Okay. And so we should okay. have a digital copy. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it should be all right. If all right. That, uh, Anything else we'll go That'll be on your agenda, so it will be properly worn. We're trying to get on the agenda. Yeah, you got to get it. It's Thursday is your meeting, right? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, Gus? Unless um, you have something for me. No, I think, this is I think that um, there will probably be questions about Act 46 at town meeting. I think it's inevitable. I've talked to Susanna. She doesn't really want to go there. I think it's inevitable, Susanna, that somebody is going to ask questions about Act 46. Even if we have these, a public forum ahead of time, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be still questions. And it's fair to, you know, mm -hmm. have a discussion under, I don't know if it's going to be on the warning or if it's not. I don't know. Well, yeah, I can't get an answer. Gonna, you know, with the board meeting, where we were talking about that. So we aren't going to have any real authority to do anything, assuming right. we don't get to stay. But if you know we were going to be there to really answer questions mm -hmm. and discuss, that was what we said in our meeting. I don't know why I should say we wouldn't say. So we'll certainly stand. She wants to keep things positive. Oh. Which I hear that, but sometimes you got to have the hard discussions. Right. Um, well, I, I would also think just. And I, again, I haven't talked with her directly, but mm -hmm. I would think even if the transition were going to happen, if the lawsuits are not successful, people are going to want to ask questions right. about what does this mean? What's right. the new process? We, How does the new right. board We might have an answer. Because not everybody goes to meetings and Because yeah. I keep forgetting, you know. Them. So I, I can't imagine there won't right. be questions to be answered about. We might have an answer on the lawsuit by town meeting. Yeah. You know, we could. Mm -hmm. And that is going to, you know, make additional questions and stuff so it's going to be fun being the moderator this year mm -hmm. school meeting. thank you okay. this is like the short agenda yeah uh, whatever ours yeah. will be ours will be easy <laughs> and an intro, most interesting year i've ever <laughs> and the school yeah. board is first right we're doing the school yeah board first again i think <clears throat> yeah we did it first last year right i mean and this may very well be the last school town meeting so I didn't want to get into the debate yeah, no, I about think. who's first and who's second this time because it just didn't seem worth it. It might be the last. 
So I talked to Susanna about that as well. So you guys, <clears throat> school can go first. I don't want to, we got more important things to worry about than that. It might be good to have the school first because I'd love to be able to have people in the room, you know, to be able to talk to Janet and to the right. representatives when they come in, not after the fact. Right. You know, because there might be questions that come to the to any legislature. Janet's not usually there. Janet's first. not there in the beginning. Yeah, no, she, she shows up later. She shows up for lunch. Oh, yeah. Right. That's right. People yeah. will be primed. Right. People That's will have probably sat through the school meeting and hopefully the town meeting. Sure, yeah, if we did it after, she wouldn't be there for sure. Right. right. So this right. informational meeting you just talked about for February 10th, do you want a moderator for that or do you, are you guys going to handle that? Yeah. Uh, and you can think about it and let okay. me know. We had Mike passing last time. Yeah, I mean, I kind of did. The, you moderate? I did. We the, needed a bouncer last time. Right. No, I did the meeting. I did the meeting last time. I don't know. And were you guys comfortable with me doing? Yeah, yeah that worked great. That's fine. Um, I mean, I don't mind Gus doing it, and I get off the hook. That'd be fine too. Gus. We tried to get Susan, didn't we? Last we tried time. to get Susan Clark. Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you can think about it if you. Yeah. And you're available if you need for it. What time of day are you going to do it? I would say Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday late morning, maybe. No, maybe. early afternoon. Early afternoon, afternoon? Yeah. after church. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it would be great if us, if you're willing, just because even Susan's been, you know, she's been in this debate herself, and she's very good at being impartial. And you know, but yeah, if you're no. willing, that I think that you've got a really even. Unbiased voice. And mm -hmm. I'm happy to. Well, you guys, you guys, because we signed those letters. Mm -hmm. You know, so having having a, somebody, somebody squarely impartial, right. squarely, <laughs> not just wearing an impartial hat for the day. If you're interested, you can sign Cliff and mine petition to be on the select board. Oh, we can also have a piece of chocolate. And you can have a piece of chocolate. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Two separate issues. Two separate issues. Right. Two separate issues. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope last week that I did. Never, I never <laughs> signed Rose's. Sign oh, they're both. Uh, yeah, after the conversation. Oh, yeah, that one's Cliff's. And, oh, right, yeah. sure. You did this last year. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. I got to confess the chocolate is left over from Christmas. That it's just left over. I thought you were going to say it's left over from Christmas. years ago. No, I, just, I didn't have any. I didn't put it in anybody's bag or stocking. Or I have anything. a whole collection of that kind of stuff. I have these bags that I'm gathering for stuff I find around the house that I forgot to. Yeah, forgot. You know, it was tucked yeah. here, tucked there. And I found a, a, a gift that somebody left us at the house yeah. Christmas Day when they came for dinner, and one of my little my little Down syndrome man, he stashed it somewhere. And so when I was like, okay, going around the house, making sure I had everything put away. You know how you always find the inevitable Christmas candles, candles or yeah. something that you haven't boxed up. There was this unopened package. <laughs> I hope it hadn't spoiled. <laughs> no, it was very nice. It was a very dark nice. Dark candle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're dark. I think so. That was my analysis. I read so far as to say. Thank you. 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 Thank
you want to talk? Do you want to Pass it down. I would like to video it. I want to you. Yeah, sure. In the public forum one, too. In the public forum, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I do the agenda, you'll know it. Okay. Because I always send them the agendas. You should have a, an email from my home email in your clipboard inbox. Oh, the one you thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we, we're done with the warning. Thank you, everyone. Nice, you. nice work. Are um, you done with us on the school board stuff? Yep. You, you don't want to stay talking about budgets? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to. It's not sound very doesn't sound very exciting, does it? But you never know. It might have its moment. It could get exciting. Yeah, it might have its moment. And moments. you would miss it. That's <laughs> true, right? Okay, so here is a revised um, budget. So last week on Wednesday, we met with the staff and we met with the Sandra and we went through um, the budget, and we had the questions that we had. Excuse me. We had the questions that we needed to have answered, and we got those answered. Did everybody? Is everybody remembering? Yeah. Say hello to Mel. Yep. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Yep. Thank you. And I asked, had, we had asked Toby to revisit the highway yep. budget, and he did that right off, which was great. Mm -hmm. um, so here we are. And I'm hoping that we can get through this tonight and finalize it, because we've got to get this done so that we can get things to Laura Philbach to get them formatted and ready for the town report. Can you find it? I've got the one here. This is the one that was forwarded to me. And yeah. then I'm going to open the, this one that you've got in a separate. The one you just had open is from me, right? She's right. one and she two, OK? Yep. And then here is the one, the latest and greatest from today. Is this the one from Sandra and me? Yep. OK. Can we, can we, Denise, would you mind if we go back to the one that I sent that has the year over year? Yeah, I was hoping that John would be here for the discussion. I think it's. Right. Would be important. So we could do. Um, <laughs> we, wanted, we wanted to make sure you were here when we were discussing the budget, because Sharon had some ideas. Oh, uh, so, okay. Okay, yeah, I, I, so, I didn't see it before I left, because I came earlier. Yeah, I, I didn't bother to spend it sending you guys a complicated spreadsheet. Um, but Sharon did some research. I did some research and some analysis. Cliff, if you go to sheet two, um, this is... Okay. Yeah, that was just, that was where I started is doing percentages, but I decided that was, go to sheet two. Uh, lower left. There we are. Yeah. Still not used to this Google. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, is this the, this, what you have in front, right here, columns A to J. You sent, you gave us a copy. I gave you a copy of columns M and so on, and I meant, and I don't even know what I did with that already. I was trying to print both, and I think I'd set my print area. And it, of course, when oh, you do is. that, it only it prints the same thing twice instead of okay. what I'm looking at. So, so why don't you backtrack and show us how you came across this? Because when we first started talking about budget, you had done some research and came across well, something. We, we discussed this. Right. We could, these numbers are. That's a different. Are, that's that's, di different. that's different. different. Yeah, we'll get to that. The first. The first first few columns that you're looking at. Um, I went through the old town reports. Mm -hmm. um, and so we don't have a hard copy of that. No, you don't. Uh, and I, that's what I was trying. Okay. I thought I printed one, but I no, said I printed two of the okay. other one. So, so what you see here is that 
from, I, I looked at 2005, 2010, 2015. So I went in five year increments, mm -hmm. and then I went year over year, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm -hmm. And as much as, I mean, I didn't pick through the time fine tooth comb. I went to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So in 2005, the bottom line budget was 1.3 million. In, in 2010, I looked at this twice. It appears that we actually reduced the budget slightly. So the second year budget was 97 percent of the first of 2000. Not second year, actually. In a five-year gap, the budget seems to have went down. And I did not dig in to see what that was about. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the next five years, we went from 1.3 to 1.4, almost 1.5 million. And then again, 2015 to 2016, it went up um, about half a percent. Mm -hmm. And then it starts going up in bigger chunks. And the big one was 6.5% in 2018, 2% last year. And now, as we know, we're looking at 11.46% this year. So I just wanted to have that kind of backdrop. Oh, right. 2018, I think, budget was when we Trucks. discovered well, the deficits. Well, deficit. no, and also we added the select board administrator position, too. Yep. There was a lot that came out as I was. Well, and, and you can just see right just the high-level columns. The big increase of the highway budget was quite a while ago. Between mm -hmm. 2005 and 2010, there was a big increase in the highway budget. But since 2015, well, we had a 9% in 2018. Um, Are we talking about highway or fire? Now? Highway. John was skipping ahead. I just, I want, I let you guys know, I like to look at percentages and see how things are, are changing. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, our big problem this year is not, it isn't the highway. That's a, a really small increase. Well, and we also made some reductions to the highway. Right. That's what, which, you know, are showing up mm -hmm. in the spreadsheet that I would, by the time I, that spreadsheet that we had. So how do you have 2020? Okay, we're in FY19. That's proposed. 2020 is proposed. Right, okay. Yeah. That, that, that number, that includes the uh, truck $80,000. It's just the well, bottom. For the it's the bottom line. Bottom it was the, the tractor. Yeah, it's all the there. Woodbury Fire Department. Yep. Not yeah. using money out of the capital reserve fund to pay for the lease right. payment. Right. 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 That it, it is the bottom right. line. The, the highway actually went down considerably if you consider the the tractor taking the money out of the. Re, I guess it's called a reserve fund to pay mm -hmm. for the lease. And also, until we made some other cuts, which amounted to 10 or, 10 or 15,000, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. So the other thing that I really uh, want to point out is in between 2017 and 2018, we had a 40% increase in our salary. Yeah, you know, where, where are you? Um, column. Okay, I see it, 2018. Yeah, well, I can't see the letters. 2019, all the changes. 2019, you're showing us it's gone down. Yeah, that was the number, those were the numbers. That yeah. I, well, that's because we don't have Jonathan. Mm -hmm. right. Can we use, not use names, can we use titles? Our, right, we don't have the... Our town administrator. And that detail, right. that detail is in the, the next spreadsheet that you do have a hard copy right. of has all that detail. But that was a that was a big jump going. But I mean, if you look at the jump though, it's four point one eight. Does that include the? Um, That's this year. No, I'm just saying that in two years ago we had a huge salary jump. Right, right. And so what was going on in my head is trying to stabilize at that point, considering we made a huge jump then. Well, at one at part of that year we were paying for two treasurers, right? Because there's training. Um, and an assistant. I think that was the first year maybe we really had a, a separate, a separate, considerable, you know, right. a real person assistant. Right. And so I'm just trying to think about why it went well, up. What's not shown is the savings that increasing those salaries created on the other end. We're not hiring, you know, outside assistants to do treasurer work. Or, 
Well, right, but, but the bottom line is that the town budget is still going up incrementally right. each year. Right. right. And it's really hard because there are so many outside influences like this year. Part of the increase is because we've got to do a better job of um, computer, not DNA, DRA. 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 IT services. IT services. We've got to have a significant jump there just because we, right. because we do. And then we're doing this um, COTS thing. That's a significant amount of money. Those are two significant pieces. It's not just salaries. Which is why it becomes important to try to stabilize where we can. And, if, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't think we can just, you know, hold it on the salaries. I think there's a bigger picture. Um, so do you want to go over to your other side there? Uh, we can. Um, yeah, and social services. Let's just look at that for a minute. Well, what's included in social services? We well, used to include. Did you include in it? Did you include Kellogg Howard? In, I just took the it? numbers. I just took the bottom Kellogg, line. That's a big number. I just took the. I didn't. I didn't. It's not that big. It's twenty. It would be. It would be. Kellogg Howard loans are twenty. It would. Twenty seven. It would. It would be a different. I mean, this took me most of the afternoon. Yeah. It would be a different level of detail to pick through and really dig, dig at apples and apples. Right. But I think um, when you look at the bottom line under social services. Kellogg Hubbard is there. Mm -hmm. I have them here. The books are here. If you look on the, the books are here. Yeah. So it's a separate warned item, but I think when you do the when you do the budget is part of that. If you look um, towards the end of the one standard did. And then the fire yeah. department is a significant piece of the budget. So I have 20, I have, and I put that in there. I have 2016, and yes, Kellogg Hubbard. Right. And if you look at Sanders' budget, it's in the line. It's on the second chunk. to the last page. Is there? Okay. Yep. So that's it is why, because Kellogg Hubbard went up significantly at one point. Right. Uh, so there's, there, I mean, you, you can't. It's not just apples to apples. There are there's variables, but no. But you know, that's why you should step back at thirty thousand feet. To right. See what's going on over mm -hmm. time? Um, so then, on the salary piece, to dig into that, mm -hmm. and that you do have in hard copy. That one I was successful in printing. Right. Um, zoning administrator popped up as a paid position in 2018, and I didn't go back and look if I was missing it before, or? No, it was a new. Okay. And, and also the listers getting salary, that was a new thing. We had like a whole bunch of stuff, because people are just tired of doing things voluntarily. They were getting, there was a budget for them that looked the same. The name didn't change, so I. But the amounts have. Right, so I carried that, right. that in. Um, because, um, Yeah, because zoning really there was no really there was no pay, and then it got to be you know a lot of work for somebody to do, right. and in order to keep somebody without having to hire a mm -hmm. zoning administrator, we had to put some money in the budget. Same thing with listers, um, and then of course now we have the recording secretaries because things are so much more right um, difficult. Only put tax collector. And so we didn't start paying the Olympic tax collector until 2018, right? Right, right. that's, that's yep. a new salary. That's, that's a huge, new, that's, that's a new big. salary. And it's not necessarily an increase to the budget. It's just right. that it's a reassigning right. I think fee, that's fee, fee, fees that float in but right, it, into the general Because, right, because general it used fund, to be, it salary. wasn't budgeted, though, was it? No, because the delinquent like, tax collector, yeah, the way she used to get paid, right. was fees. from the fees. Right. And we changed that right at penalties her, right, and her request. She said it made more sense. Right, but now it is a paid <coughs> position. Right. So, um, and this is this is, yeah. So, um, so things that were, I didn't do year over year increases, but but if, well, we can look at the paper too. Um, so town clerk in 2015. So. Um, five years ago, 28,000. I didn't do the math on, you know, what is that over time, over time. But now we're at um, 
a seven, we were, the proposed, and I don't remember, I couldn't remember where these numbers came from, but, but the pro, proposed was 41. I wasn't sure where that came from. You mean for the, 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 the for effort? Are you looking at, just so you're looking at 2020 proposed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, we, we, we announced, at least in one of these years, I remember there was a conversation about the clerk putting in way more hours. Right now. Participated in him when we came up with the budget. And we wound up having to find money to compensate her for the extra hours. Right. Because she was doing other duties as a sign that weren't statutory and it got to be a little bit of a, a struggle right. for and that's, us. Right. Because um, we needed the clerk to do these things. Um, but that's also they weren't we, statutory required, so that's we needed when we came to compensate up with, her. Right. And that's also when we came up with the administrator right. idea. Right. 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 So there's a lot of pieces right. that yeah, it's, this it's all much more complicated. There, there, we, there was an evolution here um, that resulted in, in reassigning some of the monies or not increases or just reallocations of, ex of monies that were spent mm -hmm. anyway, but under different line items. Well, like like the uh, um, <coughs> tax collector. Right. The right. The tax collector. Those fees came in, and there were times when you know, that may not uh, that you might save them. us money. Right. Because they're not getting the fees. You know, the fees go to us. Right, and what was happening though is because at town meeting, the fee piece kept getting reduced. Right. So even when the fees would came in, right, they didn't really. If you figured out how much she was making an hour, it wasn't even minimum wage. And it's interesting, and I'll just say it's interesting that when we took the incentive away or created a distance, oh, the incentive to leave uh, unpaid taxes on the on the rolls. Um, vanished. Those taxes got paid off. You mean so when, the, when they? It used to be the that if the penalties up. remained, right. there was a continuous income stream for the and there, for the there were for the tax collector. To oh, it, tax was, it was it was it was it's in the it was in the tax collector's interest not to get the taxes collected. Because of the end, because, because, because of the, like, right, the it, it became an income. Right. Interest. <laughs> right. And then when, so when and then there were people who were making accusations mm -hmm. that there was a conflict. Okay. And at least it was an appearance of a conflict that we didn't think was healthy. And the discussion happened too many times, and so we said we're going to fix that, and that's what we did. Right, and that's when we came up with... Right. So there will be some years right. we wind up with more money in the bank. Right, some less. Than, it will yeah, pay. And some less. Right, right. Um, so, so bottom line, so it's been important to me to understand as we add all these different positions, as we're saying, all these moving parts, and we're we're create we're making life easier with you know we've got assistants, you know, several different assistants. We're making life easier. We're taking some of that burden off. So, I, it was important to me to step back and understand. Okay, well, yes, okay, if there's more hours, but we're also bringing in help to address that. Yeah, I don't see auditor on your list. I didn't put auditor on because it, it's been handled very differently over the years. We came to learn that there were functions that weren't being picked up by the clerk historically prior to Donna. And then Donna, as she started digging in and seeing like all the, all these things that had the work, done. her job description kept evolving and it, it and it wasn't budgeted mm -hmm. for, and there, yeah. yet there were all these work items. Right. Some of them were getting done by the previous clerk, and some were not at all. And we have statutory obligations and financial obligations to, to get these things done. And um, So now we have the staff so in we place. we have to do it. We have the staff in place. But that doesn't mean that it's not like job. we're bumping people's salaries up. No, and it's not, and, it, and the job duties and responsibility continue to evolve and increase. It's like every year there's yep. more stuff that the state puts on that the treasurer has to do for reporting for this, that, and the other thing, and accountability, and then we have to, I'm still working on that person to be an auditor, we have to have an auditor. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, you just have to, and if we don't have one that we can appoint from the town, then we're going to have to get Father Gill and Segali or somebody, and that's going to cost us more. So the bottom line is, it wasn't as... It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be when I put it all in one place and looked at it. I thought I was going to see big jumps. Um, I think over the years, we the select board has been very 
careful and cognizant of trying not to have huge increases. So I think that we could have. We had that one year. We had the one year, but I think overall we have done a really good job of trying to manage and now the budget and not have significant increases. Well, and now it's so we had that one big one year, and now it's it's stable. And so what I was looking for is so you know then I looked at the bottom line. So the, the proposed increase for this year over last year for this set of line items ended up being slightly over 4%. And then I went back to my principle of, you know, 3% um, and looked for how could we get there. And so I got, I got to actually 1.5% by doing and that's not on here, right? No, it is. It's bottom right hand corner. So oh, one, the one zero point yeah one point four six one and a half. Um, so that suggest instead column is 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 the two point with. So then I did the CPI. I want to know what where the CPI landed at the end of the year. And we can we can talk about that. But whether it's one point five or one point, would you say it was two point two? Okay, so I want you to show me where that is, but in any case, 2.2, 1.9, whatever, it's not 2.7. Right. And we've been talking about 2.7. But I thought we originally were talking about 2.7. Because we thought that's what it was. That's in October. Thought, right, because right. that's where CPI was right. you know, sitting at that point, maybe. Yeah. But in any case, if, it, if in the end of the year... Back 12 months. Right. If it's, so now we're looking at the past year. If we're looking at the right yeah, calendar yeah. year and it's 2.2, yeah. then the 2.7 we've talked about is, you know, it, it creates what we have also been talking about, which is that number that gives you a little merit cushion. So applying 2.7% consistently um, rather than, you know, one is 7% and one, one was, you know, more, whatever. Um, 2.7 because it is at least half a percent more than CPI. Uh, I did that. I took out the stipend for us because I wanted to see what it did. And, and I also, on the, the third thing I did, do you want me to go into the detail on the third thing I did, Denise? Right yeah, now. and I think all the, well, let's back up a little bit. So instead of, so you did 2.7 on every position, including like delinquent tax collector, I did which that. we did not do before. Um, I did, and I did it on delinquent tax collector for, the, for the reason that I explained to you. You didn't do it on listers. I didn't do it on listers, no. You didn't do it on zoning. So what... I didn't, I didn't know if we were thinking about them in exactly the same way. If we are, we could do it. No, we weren't thinking of them in the same way because they're really, what they're getting is sort of like per diem. Right. Um, really the paid employees on the road crew, um, the three office staff, those are really what are getting paid as employees. Everybody else is sort of per diem or per hour, like recording secretary, it's so much an hour. Period. <coughs> um, and when you say three office staff, it is the treasurer, assistant, clerk, clerk. The clerk is count is in there. Okay. Right. Okay. And then of course we need to add the assistant treasurer line, which we didn't have. That's right, but I didn't give that one a bump because yeah. that's a new line. Right. Um, and I'd have to go back and compare that with what we had in the. Did you look at what we had? You increase the delinquent tax collector by right, 270. Yeah. And that's that 2.7. Yep. But did you go back <coughs> and look at when you were doing a comparison? Did you look at the current salaries? I just looked at the budgets. I just took the numbers out of the budget. You mean the, these, these line items like this, right? Yep. I pulled, yeah. Yeah. Like the treasurer, for instance. Yeah. I mean, I can see you put a lot of work in that, and I appreciate that. Um, so, so each of these, right up through 2019, comes out of the budgets. Mm -hmm. 
And then the 2020 proposed came from the spreadsheet that Cliff sent after we all worked on it last mm -hmm. week. Then I did the math on the percentage increase just between 2019 budgeted and 2020 proposed. And then I just suggest instead is like an alternative proposed 2020. And then the, f the final column is a percentage of increase between 2019 and the alternative. So the town core <laughs> one, for instance, you're showing that as a I applied a 2.7% increase from the 2019 budget. And the assistant town clerk is showing us? I didn't do that because so that we were, new. that was new. Well, not, it's not new. Well, in terms of the hours and the assignments we have. And I thought that the 2.7 was already built into that, that new number. The assistant town clerk, um, Okay, I just want to compare that to with what the office staff gave us, and it, it looks like it's the same number, right? Yes. 19096. Right. I mean, yeah, I just took it out of. And the town clerk wages, though, are not. It looks like the treasurer took a hit. 4106. No, the town clerk is the same, right? No, no. suggested instead. That's because the original proposal was a 7% increase, and I right. went to 2.7. Okay. The, the problem I have at this point is just getting this tonight, which I know you've been busy, but the town office staff believed that we were using the figures they gave us. Had they known tonight's discussion might include decreasing, they might have wanted to show up to have the discussion. So I feel... I feel like I don't want to, I feel like if I was them, how would you feel? I, I do understand that, but we've been saying all along that, you know, this is wish list, wish list, and... Well, yeah, we have, but at the same time, I think we were looking to see if perhaps we could save some money. Basically, we're saving, like, between the clerk and, and the treasurer, we're saving, like, $2,300. Okay, so the difference well, between what Sharon's is significant. Okay, but I my problem is that somebody comes in and says, I'd like a 7% increase, I'd like this percent increase, and we just put it down as a placeholder, and they, they just... Well, 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 they, they, and they, they, well, they didn't do that. That's not what they did. They, 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 they had more, more workload. Right. We were trying to pay them. San, Sandra was working for free. And she's still I got a problem with people working yeah, for free. Still when we base a it, salary line item, not a not salary, when we base budget based on her understanding of the position, it was the best guess last year correct. that she could get it done in 32 hours. Right. And then she informs us that it's taken her John, over 40. Stop. Let me, let me, you don't understand what I did here. I okay. gave her what you're talking about. Oh. And it's not personal, so I don't want to use names because okay. this is right. That's why I don't want to use names. Uh, it's not about it's not about the people at all. It's right. and I acknowledge everything you're saying. So I took the 2019 um, budget and I multiplied it by 1.25 to take it from 80 percent to 100 percent, right, for full hours, mm -hmm. and then I applied a 2.7 percent increase to that new number. So right. the 2.7 with that merit cushion is applied not just to the 80% base, but to the whole new 100%, but not the additional that's been floating out on the spreadsheet. However, there was never an increase in the delinquent tax collector line, and I did apply it to that one. Right, I think she's more, I think she's gonna see the, the treasurer is going to not care so much that there's an increase in delinquent as, as, as the person is going to think about their, their current position, which takes the majority of their time. Because, um, but, but now when you think about it, we're paying. But if you look at this too, this is what the office staff put together. This is, <clears throat> if you look at the FY19 budget and the hours that we're at the time, we thought we were going to have a select board administrator. We don't. Right. Um, so they, they, they see things a little differently than, than we do. So we should look at, I think, and I can make some notes on this as well. Here it is. 
um, it's really, if you, according to them, it's really a 2.4% increase. <coughs> If you consider the amount of hours. Is that on this sheet? Yeah, yeah. If you look at the FY19 budget line item, we thought we were going to have enough staff to do do 102 hours worth of work. Now we have three people. Um, well, me, I guess they're including me, my six hours. So if you look right under there, FY19 actual, they're doing, well, we had hired enough people to do in 102 hours, they're doing and getting paid for in 87 hours. Is that, you see what I'm saying? No, I, I, I looked at this earlier and I, I confess I really, I didn't If you look in this, it. so we're, if you look in this column here. Right. We budgeted FY19, this is hours, not salary. Right. So we figured the town clerk would work 32, the assistant clerk would work 6, the treasurer would work 32, and we'd have a full-time, basically a full-time select board administrator doing 32 hours worth of work right. a week. Right. Um, which comes to 102 hours of time by individuals in positions to perform. In actuality, because we don't have a select board administrator doing 32 hours worth of work, and we've reallocated those responsibilities across right. the three They're staff. doing 102 hours worth of work in 87 hours. That's what's being paid out. This is the pay, not the actually worked. That's what we're being paid for. Right. This right. is what they're actually turns out that they're working. They're getting the same, they're getting all this work responsibilities per, uh, completed, but they're able to do it in 87 hours. Instead of 102. Weekly average. Able to do in 87. Instead that's of, what they're you getting get, it done. In, uh, but that's they're working more hours than that, but they're not getting paid for more. You guys are saying different things. No, we're not. You're, no, you're saying. I am saying different things. I, I misunderstood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, like Sandra, she's getting paid whether she works 50 hours or 32, the same amount. The same amount. Right, so I misunderstood. Right. I misunderstood. But, but how is it so is so this, is this a typo or is the town clerk getting paid if this if the lower set is numbers are actually getting paid the town clerk is getting paid 33 not paid 32 um unless that's a typo but i know that the assistant clerk this is okay if, if you look at that that's it that, they're saying that for the fy20 budget which is what we're working on right now. FY19 actual. Well, these are what she's actually worked. She's been working 33. That's why we upped her right. hours by But only being paid for 32. So but that's apples to apples. That's the apples and oranges that if this is what she's what I'm trying to understand clearly. I see what you're doing. Is is this actually what I'm working this number here or is this what I'm getting paid for? And that you see how that's confusing to me. Yeah, the clerk's one makes sense but then the treasurer one doesn't. Right. If Sandra's working 40, but it says 32, this doesn't make or sense. Or is it what they're getting? Yeah. I, it, you know, I think I think she's doing as best she can to work within the 32, although, like, for instance, if you looked at her timesheet, which is in the warrants, she worked um, the last two weekends. But we're not paying her for that. Exactly. She's the 87 total is what is being paid. What's being worked is much greater, right? Because they're trying to make up the difference between the 87 and the 102. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is what this is what we have employed basically. Is, right. right. And we don't know. We can't explain that one hour with the town clerk. Right. Yeah, it's not and, so, and so the proposed budget works for them. That's 99 hours, and they they can get. We can was do all that work. Two hour, uh, right. two hour allocation. They can get it done at ninety nine. So They're here's my it's a more just compensation. Well, so group. here's my problem. With and, that. and and the overall increase is two point four percent. But here's my problem with that: the treasurer position was a point eight plus delinquent tax collector, mm -hmm. which at ten thousand is about what is that? A point you know two two point two five position. So. In theory, then, it no longer makes sense to have the town treasurer and the delinquent tax collector combined if the treasurer is a full-time 
job. And and I, I, yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. I don't. Well, do you mean, so, okay, so the, this, the treasure position we thought was going to be a point eight position. Right. And then we combined, we, we didn't combine them. You're we added. Separate. We, but we added the delinquent tax collector to the same person's plate mm -hmm. because that was a fraction of the job. Mm -hmm. But if the treasurer position is now essentially a full-time position, 40 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's not and to add on top of that delinquent tax. That collector. doesn't make sense anymore. Well, I don't think she's asking not to be both, and not asking for an increase in delinquent tax collector salary. I don't think you can be a full-time employee, a full-time salaried legal, well, to be a full-time salaried employee mm -hmm. and then to be paid separately in for addition another job. for another job, I, I was, I could never make that fly when I, and I have tried, but no, if you're a salaried employee, then that is your, then that is your job and that's what you do. And you can moonlight other places, but you mean it's like more than working 40 hours? Yeah. As a regular. But she doesn't yeah. do delinquent tax collector stuff, you know, very, it's then certain maybe, times of the year. Well, then maybe 10,000 is too much. I mean, right. it, it, it really comes back to what is, it, you know, if we're, if we're aiming for a 40 hour job mm -hmm. and, and if we're paying for, if, if it's 40 hours, um, or it's a full-time salary position. I certainly hope in a year, and this is not personal. I like these people very much, right. but I certainly hope in a year we're not having a conversation um, about it's it's 55. If it's 55, then then we 55. need to look at hours. Like these are these are salaried positions. Right. So when you're full time as when you're full time salaried as the treasurer, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense anymore for that person to also be a separately compensated, separately mm -hmm. whatever delinquent tax collector. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't have this conversation before we are trying to finalize the budget tonight. Well, we could, I know, but it's... We could increase the treasurer salary by five. And make it one position. Make it one position, assistant treasurer. But by statute, aren't they separate? I don't think so. Combine treasurer with what? Delinquent tax collector. Our, tre our treasurer is an employee. Right. So we can have our treasurer collect our taxes. So see why not. I don't think it has to be. Is that... Are we electing someone to that position? No. No. No, we have the person. No, he's appointed. Employee. Right. They're both appointed. So I'm just trying to think it Is there a real. conflict you're wondering? You're right. Well, don't, don't. don't Jim so. never said there's a conflict. Uh, uh, and, said something and, right now. and I'm trying, I think, don't quote me on this, but doesn't it sound familiar when you look at other towns' budgets? Treasurer and delinquent tax. Okay, so. Same position. Same person. For East Montpelier. Yeah. East Montpelier. Yeah, most, a lot of towns have treasurer, delinquent tax collector as the same person. Okay. Um, but Bruce I, is the delinquent tax right. collector. Right. But he's no, not. He but he's not the treasurer. Oh manager. yeah, I know about it. And right. He's the zoning administrator. Right, but he's not the he's, treasurer. He's the. So so if the delinquent yeah, tax so collector, as a practical matter, is a is a is a nothing job, and I don't think it's nothing. Not nothing, but but you know, in a full time salary position, there are ebbs and flows. Right. Right. And if it generally Well, gets, I think that's what we thought when we were doing 32, right, right. that the ebb and the flow would offset by the hours needed for a like, with tax collector, but now. It'll fit in. And I think it still will fit in to that. Well, you can have a salary hours. position where the person's working 55 hours. It happens all but the time. But you don't have it as a separate <laughs> item. You don't have them as separate job duties. But I, you have it I don't, incorporated and, I, and they have to work more right, hours. But I don't think, I think for the purposes of the budget, that's why it's, you know, you got to show the, how much we're paying for a delinquent tax collector and how much we're paying for a treasurer. Just do a slash. So that, well, we can all make it one position. Yeah. We can make it treasurer, delinquent tax collector, one position, and then show zero. In this budget item, where is just it? Just strike, strike it. And just strike just rename this it. and rename it assistant, I mean, treasurer slash delinquent tax collector, right? 
And then what are you going to do about the money that was right. allocated for the delinquent tax collector? You put it in the, in the salary with the treasurer. Or, or a portion of it. Because what I'm not clear on is whether those, those hours that we're looking at where the treasurer is working 40 hours or more, mm -hmm. does that include the delinquent tax work? In which case? No, it should be. I mean, I mean, right. I mean, you know, I mean, on a day when she's here, some days if you look if you look at the orders and you look at the timesheets, she will have put down so many hours for treasurer, so many hours for delinquent tax collector. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that she hasn't put in the extra hours for right. treasurer. Right. She's just not right. including that's right. them. That's right. And that's the right. And that's why I've been saying for quite a while, we, we should be paying for her for what she's actually well, that's, that's what we're doing. Right. So, so I, I, I so, so you're... You know, I don't, I'm agreeing with Denise that this is a little late. I don't disagree with Sharon's numbers, first of all. No, I don't either. They make sense, but I, I'm disagreeing with the lateness of this. But I would propose, kind of in the interest of compromise, that we've merged with delinquent tax collector title with the treasurer title, make it one line item. Uh, leave the treasurer proposed salary the same. Which is how much, John? 49,733. Okay. And then add 6,000. Which is what? Is it which is, job? I'm not looking at that, 6,000 and, and discount. Uh, oh, the, the, 6,000 the, of the 10. Of the, of the 10, 10 to 70. Um, so that 10 would. 10. So you're discounting it 4,000 there. Um, I, think so I, could go, total, I think I could go along with that. Some total comes out to like so yeah. just shy of 56,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so and I, I do 49. And to be fair on the lateness, Plus I have been I have been objecting all not along. you lateness it's us it's the well, collective but I have been objecting all along to some of the numbers that were showing up in those spreadsheets right I know yeah, you guys know I have been. right and we don't no it's not a criticism it's not a criticism okay yeah. All right, so it's just, it's just, oh, okay. it's just yeah. a different way of, That's I mean, the way, I love that. It's a, you know, the, the way you look at the salaries and the increases or whatever you want to call them are different than what we call them. It amounts to a lot, it amounts to pretty much the same thing. You just look at it's, it differently and it call it something, way, it's it's call, you call it something different. This, this is something we should be mindful of every year. Yeah. What's the whole picture? And in the whole picture, can we? What are we doing? So, if we're and now that the spreadsheet's done, it's easier to do. Okay. So, if it's fifty-four, town treasurer slash delinquent tax collector. If you look at the town treasurer and we add slash delinquent tax collector. I don't know what we talking about fifty-four. She's done that's, some math. That's the wrong <laughs> so, 50, 50, 49,733 plus 6 comes to at least 55. If what? You, if, no, if you 41, add, oh, if you add 49, 733 plus 6,000, 6, that comes to 55,000. 733. 54,733. I got a calculator right here. Okay. Is my brain totally, yes, right. totally fried? So therefore, we say 5,000 on the delinquent tax collector That's line. That's impossible. Where's that? But the 40... Nine. Forty-nine seven thirty-three okay. plus six. Forty-nine seven thirty-three is basically five fifty thousand. If you add six, that's fifty-six thousand. You take it down. Yeah, fifty-five seven thirty-three. Right. Fifty-five yeah. seven. Basically, you said fifty-four, fifty-five. It's fifty-five. Forty-nine seven thirty-three plus six. Plus fifty-six thousand. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, fifty-five. Um, and we're. I think I was totally fried. And we're taking. I'm heading there. My calculator lied. I'm heading there fast. And, and so and so we're really clear. We're taking it down. We're adding six, but not a two point seven. Because that forty nine had six from the delinquent tax collector. We're eliminating the delinquent tax collector. Because don't forget, Wednesday Cliff and I are going to have to explain it to these guys. Right. We're eliminating. We're we're combining it. It's combined slash right. slash job. Yeah. 
um, still with the expectation of 40 hours. Total. Uh, well, no. It's whatever it takes to get no, the job. It's, it's a salary full salary. It's what it takes to get the it's job. It's a salary, salary full time right. position. And that's kind of where, you know, we're, I mean, if I mean, it that's, gets crazy, it's, then we have a right. conversation with them. But, that's right. right. When, if it gets crazy, but, then it, but you know, you can work for several months running at 55 hours a yeah. week. And there you and go. Sometimes right. salary positions, you're, you're only working 20. Right. You got all your stuff right. done. Well, and that's what we thought would happen. That's yes. how it works. And we also can use that um, 4000 that we're saving from the delinquent tax collector to pay for the assistant town clerk, I mean, assistant treasurer, correct? Because that's about, because that's 4000 Well, it just is. It just, I mean, it just, I mean, it just worked out that it way just that, that covers yeah. that expense. So this, um, what was 10 becomes zero. Uh, we're going to throw in zeros. Right. Okay. And then we're not going to do a 2.7 increase on that part of the job. Right. That's what we're saying, just right. to be really clear. Yeah. I never figured 2.7 on it in the first place. On a new job? No, but I couldn't figure out why, why we hadn't, and that helped me with, yeah. I didn't like I mean, because this this is a this was a, like a five percent increase, which you know when CPI is two point two, is right. Hot. So so this helps with that. And then you saw the cuts that Cliff and I came up with, which amounted to fifteen thousand four hundred dollars. That was in the town office town hall reserve fund. Five thousand from legal fees and four hundred dollars from planning commission maps. <clears throat> Did you guys ask them about? Um, <clears throat> is there a? Is there? This may be too too nuanced. Is there a middle ground between going all the way into cots right now, and instead yeah. just getting a computer? for lawyers to use instead of having to disrupt the staff. We talked about it some, and the thought was that the more you wait, the more it's going to cost. Well, that is probably true. So I think it will go a long ways in, in morale, for one thing, to okay. have this in the works. I think it's really important to them that this is something that's, that's happening because it takes so much of their time. And it's still a long ways down the road. It takes all of their, years. but if the computer, if a lawyer, if I come in as a lawyer and I'm using a computer that's sitting out here and I'm not interrupting them, then, then in, in terms of research. But you still have to go in and out of the vault. Yes. Right? That's distracting. You're never going to escape the vault. That's no, you're not. That's but everything is electronic. Right. But I think we're on the road to getting there because I thought, well, you know, we could put it off. Same as you. Okay. And it was really important. I got the impression from them that we go forward. What was your take on it? Yeah, we had discussed it. The concern was just that, that, okay, that much more. Um, cost would be incurred also just they said something to the effect of they're even willing to hold off on this whole office redesign project in favor of, of the costs that's good to know right I think what I think we still need that to make some I don't yeah I don't that's that that's exactly. really, that's good to understand because what we want to do is make their lives easier right. so we so I think the tech investment is huge. Right, and don't forget we're also, the tech investment piece is having better um, security, better cyber security, because mm -hmm. we don't want to get hit with a lawsuit because right. the town's records get compromised. That's really important. Um, so, that, I mean, those two are, like I said before, those two are really big pieces, the COTS and the IT support. More than an office redesign. Right. That's good to know. Because we can do some office stuff that I don't think is going to cost as much mm -hmm. because we can get a grant for desks, for better chairs. We can get a grant through Passive. I've already asked the office staff mm -hmm. to put in a re request for these items through the Passive grant, which will cost us minimal. 
looking at some other simple ergonomic things, the yeah. phone system putting in that was has already right. proved beneficial and it's going to become more beneficial as we turn on all the functionality that, that system offers them. Um, the IT services support was really a bone of contention. What? It's the mice. The arrows? Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
a host town fee from Green Mountain Power for their, for instance, the wind turbine project there. I don't know what other yeah, no, commercial I development. No, I so, and, and, if, and if that is the case, then they're actually really high of us because they're 100 grand, they're high now in, in 2019. And if they have that additional inflow of money outside mm -hmm. of their the standard. But that's the budget, not the, not the No, I know, but their budget. The income. No, but well, that's, that's their budget of what they were spending. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. No, I thought that's what they were raising in tax dollars. No, no, no. no that's, that's their, their total. That's right, so that might include that income. Right. But, but still, if it does, yeah. still. Right, it's less, but, but it's that's less not the question. The, taxpayer. Yeah. the right. question is how much generally does it cost on Durant right. Town? Right, that's a good point. Um, so, the, I mean, I think everything that we've all done, office staff, us, everything has is, is been really helpful. I think we've all, I know I've learned a lot to say that much. I just want to say, can I make a comment, Madam mm -hmm. Chair? I just want to say um, to everybody that this really has been very, very thoroughly digested, researched. Um, mm -hmm. I know I spent a lot of time today on the computer just reviewing all these documents, and I just want to um, give a shout out to you for this spreadsheet especially um, because I thought the wages in the town office were really high. Um, and. You know, I, I value the people and I don't want to put the personalities into it, um, but when you look or you try to look for some kind of cost savings, to have this comparison is really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. And so um, my thoughts align a lot with what Sharon was thinking, maybe not so much with what John and Denise were thinking. So I just wanted to put that out there that um, I value everybody's input into this and this is, Budgeting is really, really tedious, and it would be wonderful well, if we had all this information well, long I, ago. I think, I think we've come to a good compromise, and that's yeah, what I'm on that one. Yeah. Well, and right. we didn't even talk about if we take ourselves out, then then I I don't know what the math is with what we just did, but if we take ourselves Let's, out, we can be. If I take myself out, I will be required to resign from the select board. Why? Because. My wife already doesn't want me running for the select board, and so the justification is I get 500 bucks, and that makes all the difference. I'm serious, that would be it. <coughs> Pays for Christmas presents or whatever mm -hmm. and at the right time. Well, I was prepared to take my 6,000 yeah. out, just to save. Mm -hmm. I think we should look at what, where do we land, what's the bottom line. Right, because so, we want to be able to go to, the, go to the voters. It's really about being fiduciaries for the taxpayers' mm -hmm. money. And the three thousand dollars or whatever it is that goes to pay the slug board is minimal, right? But if but if it but if we take our positions back to that, it's a talking point mm -hmm. that we we gave that up in favor of increases for the town staff mm -hmm. uh, to achieve a bottom line of. I would rather take well, out. I would rather take out. If we're going to take out half of what I get. In, the, in, in favor of in favor of you guys getting your side. You know, you know, this is what this is the deal I will strike. When we have a a broader cross section of the people that live in this town um, volunteering to help this town do its business, other than the same twenty people doing everything in this town for the last fifteen years that I've been involved, um, then I will opt out. But when I see, I'm going to be right out there, real blunt. When I see a number of people who don't contribute one iota to this town, nothing, and they've got plenty of free time, I uh, see on their Facebook pages, they're on vacation all over the planet all year round, and then I'm going to subsidize, take my free time, give up my free time, and I give up a lot more free time than just the select board. Well, you go to CDRPC. CDRPC, two subcommittees, um, I work my tail off for this town, and I'm not willing to do it for free unless I have other people willing to commit more of their free time. I'm talking about people don't do anything. And, re and there's a benefit they receive. They <coughs> have, at the end, if we're gonna reduce their taxes, uh, I don't agree with that. If we have, I, I will do it if I know that it will go directly to the people who are struggling, then I'm all about it. But I'm not subsidizing folks that are that with their million dollar it's, houses. I'm sorry. It's, I'm not it's, doing it. It's a it's a small amount, just leave it in. I'm not yeah, doing yeah. it. Um, and I don't think anybody can argue with a small amount. 
Like I said, if it comes down to a budget problem, for I, got, I, got, I, got, I got tarps on my roof because I got to do it myself because I can't afford to hire a roofer. You know, I'm not giving up a dime. Well, can, so. can I can I say then um, that I want to go? I want to go back with the maybe tomorrow morning and put us back in and make the changes we talked about. And I still, I want this bottom right hand number to be no bigger than 3% because that's what we said to the fire department. fire department. Is there, so can you, is there any way you can get it done? Um, the, this, not this, but the this, changes This to I can do tonight. Okay, because I would like to go over it as a courtesy with the office staff on Wednesday. Yep. I think we owe them that. Since this was a surprise, your spreadsheet, which I'm not saying it was it was great, but it was a surprise and they haven't had a chance to absorb any of it. We're only talking one change. Basically, right. One the, change, so, right. So. The only but tax collector, think, treasurer combined. Yes. I just wanna, yeah, I wanna see where and that means that we get up. the assistant treasurer in my mind. Yeah. Well, hang on. If I, I can probably do it. Yeah. And macro, I think I can because do otherwise, it here. justifying the assistant treasurer, I think, was something that was going to be could be an issue. Oh, yeah. Well, so, okay. <coughs> as you know, this year um, was a big one with the conversion to Nemric and getting away with QuickBooks right. and having the two uh, independent audits, and now everything is in good order. So hopefully things will. And just for the record, Rose, I think you should. I think that maybe you not didn't hear what we were saying. We were saying the same thing in a different way. I don't think anybody was looking for a higher increase. So I kind of resent that well, what you said as far as plus. we were thinking of a higher percentage. I don't think that's correct. No, as Rose said that she was struggling with the, the salaries out there, then she sees them as right, high. But I don't she think didn't we, say anything about percent. Well, I think no, that I, you I, and John I were think, really on the same page. I think we were on the same page of how we say it. Yeah. I think we were all on the same page of how we get there. Right, right. Yeah. So I just want I to put that out there. Yeah, I agree Because we with come that. from different backgrounds that mm -hmm. you and Sharon were for private, well, sort of private. I don't know if hospitals are considered private, but, mm -hmm. and, we work, and we worked for, we work. We work governments. Well, we work for we work for nonprofits. Non They're just big nonprofits, right? So I think it's just a different way of saying it. I don't think it was the different. I don't think the bottom line was different. I think the way maybe you come approach it is different. You know, my view on all this is: at the end of the day, people need to be able to survive in this economy. Mm -hmm. And you know, there is a what they call this gets back to the livable wage discussion. Right. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you got someone who's just a, a ditch digger. There's a minimum that you can pay anyone if they're going to, you know, feed a family and pay their rent and pay their heat. And, and you know, whether we think that job is worthy of that, given as in comparison to my, what I get paid. You know, sometimes it, it almost seems inequitable, but there is a bottom to all this where below which people are not going to be able to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And there's huge societal implications to that. Well, and remember, you know, it we, drives people into and all sorts of bad directions and not to elaborate further, but I think we, I'm always conscious of making sure people can. If they're struggling this year, I don't want them to struggle more next year. I don't want. I want to at least keep the struggle at the same level. And that's that's how right. I say, and that's where I've always been on health care. Yeah, yeah. You right. know, yeah. I don't have the health care that these folks have, so I don't use that as a reason to cut them down. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I use that as a, something to aspire to, and hopefully get my employers or Joanne's employers to move to that. Mm -hmm. Although it doesn't seem to be going that way. I know resent was the wrong word. I don't know what the right word was, but explain. But also, I was just thinking, based on one of the things that you just said when we talked about sending a letter to Janet with ideas that are concerning to us about things in the legislature, we can put in, because we brought it up at that thing on Saturday about the livable wage, and she's in favor of that. So we, can support, so we can support her on that. We can support, you know, health care for all. And I know she I'd like to that. see a study, Madam Chair, um, you know, required, uh, you know, a legislative study performed on, 
you know, the level of need for fire service coverage statewide and yeah. you know, we an assessment of how it's currently being funded and across the state yeah. and how much the state contributes or doesn't and how much the feds contribute or don't. And you know, I see that function as being no different than police and just as important. Um, and I think there should be they, the state needs to really take a serious look at because I still think we need to level. I think we still need like to highways are right. I still think we need to, to do a letter to our delegation representatives and senators yeah. with here are here are things that we would like you to address these are the ones that we support yeah you know kind of thing and i think that might help them really mm -hmm. in the long run so they know where we stand you know you need us to come to talk to a committee let us know you know you're that we're going to have you're going to have our support as the leaders in town i think it might be a 1.7 overall on this Good. That's very excellent. Good. It's very good. It's excellent yeah. to give everybody at something. Least, well, we're giving everybody. Everybody is getting at least two point seven. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't. I mean, that doesn't include like the town clerk. Are you guys okay with that? We didn't. We talked about it, but we didn't land that because that's a, that is a, it's proposed at a seven percent increase. Isn't and that I, what she, that's what she asked for, right? Right, but I changed it to a 2.7. Is, is that seven? No. That's a, that's a seven. Is that seven percent increase include the increase in hours? It's, yes. Yeah, she's yes. not going to be happy. Right, she's 7%. not going to be okay. She's not going to be happy with the 39 from 41. <laughs> so if we went back to her original request of 41, yeah. I thought we weren't touching that. Yeah. yeah, I thought we weren't touching that amount okay, in, I, in our discussion. I, I just struggle with, yeah, I, I'm... I, I'm I hoping next I'm, year the hours are going to stay the same. Everyone, we, we've equilibrated, we understand what it takes to run the office. Cause we're still, we've been in flux for three years. Right, um, trying to figure um, it out. And now that we have that nailed down, now we got know what it takes to run this office, that then, then we, we can do budgets based on that. And we'll be able to do these projections. But hang on. So, all right. I'm sorry, you guys, to beat this horse, but where are we on the treasure in the FY20 proposed? I can see it goes from 32 to 40. And the town goes up an hour. A Turk clerk just goes up one hour. I don't. Oh, what are you looking at? The one that you handed out to the right. But if you hours. look, if you look at this budget. Yeah, yeah, she wrote plus, plus 70 she's, extra hours. Right, for like all these, you know, I mean, when she, when she does these extra elections, which it sounds like we're going to have a bunch of because of the school mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. it takes a tremendous amount of time. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I really have no sympathy for a salaried position. I don't. If that's what it, but if you don't compensate people to a level that they can live with based on the hours they're working, they're not going to do the job. 70 hours across a year. Is she, that's a total of additional 70 hours total in the year? That's 70 plus 52. No, it's 32, 32 hours. hours. 30, she's 32 hours right now. Right. 52 weeks a year. Right. right. 32 hours a week at 52 weeks a year plus, plus 70. 70 hours. Okay. But so that comes out to a total of 32 times 52 is. 1,664 hours a year plus an additional 70 comes out to 1,734. Mm -hmm. But that, but that is, but that is basically a one. That's 70 divided by 52 is 1.35 hours a week. It's an hour a week. 33.35. Right. So it's not really. It's I don't 32 hours a week job. It's a 33 hour a week job, but but it's but it's we a, have to, we'd have to ask about if that was a typo. It could very well. Have it's been. a it, to me when it's a salaried position at point eight, and it ends up being you know 33 hours, not 32. I don't um, think they're quibbling about an hour. It's a seven percent increase. That's that's what I'm. Well, how, my about. question is, how much of that percent is the increase in hours? If you just ran the math on that. Well, uh, if it's one hour, 
um, one hour is what percentage of 33? It's actually more than 70 hours, so it's 1.35. One hour a week, though. So 1.35 hours a week, it's 70 okay. hours. Divided by 32 is and then the four, four percent. It's not going to all happen, probably. And then you add the 2.7, that gets, gets you right there. That's where it is. I mean, you know, some weeks she works 32, some weeks she's going to work 50. I think these, I guess, I think that they realize that they're salaried positions, but at the same time. But they're still usually on an hourly basis built in. Right. They understand. You've got to figure, they've got to be able to figure. And then, mm -hmm. Right. That is, I, I mean, are you, you're hourly or you're salaried? Hourly. So if you work. If you were scheduled to work 32 and they asked you to work 35, would you work 35, the two hours out of the goodness of your heart, or would you get paid? No, I would get paid for it. Yeah. But she's I mean, I punch a clock, I punch in, and right. I punch she's out. She's right. an hourly employee. Yeah. I mean, I was considered hourly as a state employee. Some weeks I put in 40 hours, some weeks, weeks I put in 50. Right. I never put in for the overtime. Right. I could have, yeah. but I didn't. Yeah. So I, I worked for an environmental consulting firm, two different ones. And the first one was very good to me, um, and they paid me the overtime. The second one made all these promises, and they put me on salary as a salary white collar professional, and they worked me 60 and 70 hours a week, right. and paid me 40 hours wage, and I never got the bonuses. My bosses stole my bonuses, not to get all the ugly details. And that's what they did to everyone. And so I can let you guess if there was a lot of turnover in that right. office. Right, I can say I don't. That entire <laughs> office, the entirety of the, of our Vermont office, changed right. personnel within one year. I believe it. Everybody, there was no, and it, that was a chronic problem until that company got bought out, and then they closed the office. So. You know, if, if you want an office that's going to be constantly doing that and then we're going to have to volunteer more time, you know, I mean, and fill the gap, show up, take off from work and come in here and run the office. That's what we have to do, by the way, if no one shows up for work. Right. That's part of our job. I mean, I think... I, I'm not planning to do that. I'm hoping not to do that. I will. I want to make sure that we're mindful of the budget, that we're mindful of taxpayers' dollars that pay for all of this. But at the same time, I want to respect the work that they do. And the, uh, the enormous amount of time that, you know, when on the weekends, Judy gets phone calls, emails, she doesn't charge us for that. It's a salaried position. You don't charge you know, when it's a salaried these position. These are elected. Well, you, you, but you arrive elected. at the salary number based on a on an hourly comp. You don't say, oh, um, if, someone, if someone's working hourly, you go, well, I'm going to pay them $25 an hour, but their salary, I'm going to make it, I can get away with paying them 15 That's not what have you, you ever do. Worked you set the salary based on, not, are you, have you always actually, salary hourly? is usually higher because there's an acknowledgement. Have you always no, been, I've worked hourly. And if you when worked I was, hourly and yeah. you didn't, and you worked, you were scheduled to, to get paid for 10 hours and you worked 12, you didn't expect to get paid those extra two hours? You no, know, you of, course, of course you do, of course you do. So when, you a, are hour, when you but, are hourly. But salary positions are generally still. higher than salaried if you count a salary position based on 40 hours. Right. You look at the people who are, um, I'm sorry, if you have people on hourly wage and you run that num run the calculation based on 40 hour work week times 52 weeks a year 2080 hours um, you run that number every time people with salary you know in most cases in the business world mm -hmm. make more than those hourly wage earners do work work in a 40 hour week and and, and usually if it works out to like you know they may earn what a person would earn in like a 50 hour week salaried person. That's usually what it works I've out never, to. as a full time salaried person, I never worked 40 hours. It, 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 it no, I know, but your wage is high. Your total compensation is higher than what a, a, an average hourly person's total compensation would be. 
Always. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. so what happens is, so, so if we're going to establish these people as a salary employee, we have to see what the appropriate compensation is. So, and it shouldn't be less than what an hourly person okay. would earn. I, and that's I'm, where we're heading here with this okay. conversation. I'm not, I'm not going to convince you guys, um, but help me understand how it fits that the town clerk actually sets her own hours and is elected. It's by statute. By statute. Sure. Sure. Um, so, so it is. It is by definition then a salary position. It's not an hourly. I, I really struggle with taking an hourly, a salary position and translating it into. Well, there, the other hours. reality is a clerk. Un unless we're talking like fifty-five, clerk, sixty hours a week. All a the clerk time. that's independently elected could also make a motion on the floor at a town meeting and ask for more money. Sure. Right. Because they're a separate office, it's, and we have no control. We have we have a collaboration. We have a res, a, a, a rapport here. It's not. And, it's it's you know, fine. It's well. It's we could, it's, we it's, could it's, fight. We could we we could create tension between our two separately elected offices, or we could work with them. I, I'm, We've been working with our them. Our part of what we can control is sure. is the budget. But in my mind, you know, is it worth? The difference between forty-one and thirty-nine, which is sixteen hundred dollars, it, it's seven percent increase. But I've said that eighteen. Which is it's not seven. I don't see how it's seven percent. Let's just stop. We do need to. How do you want to? If we're going to have to, we need to finalize this. Yeah, I mean, we'll finalize it. We're going to be done tonight. I'm not going to keep debating this. It's it's it is what it is. You guys are all good with it. I I won't. Don't turn to me and ask me to defend it. You know, at town meeting, no. and you won't. I know you won't. I'm not right. saying that. But I think we I think we have made some compromises in some of the things you're saying. Just because you're not getting it everything the way you want it, I think we have made some changes based on this spreadsheet that you did. I think it's a compromise. I don't think it's. Well, she's acknowledging Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Are, I think you're both saying the same thing. Well, no, we're not saying the same thing. No, you're saying, you're saying the same thing. Don't put that on us. No, I'm saying you're, you're saying you have your opinion, you have your That's your right. Opinion. We are saying that. And, right. and Sharon's and acknowledging think, that she thinks she's outvoted that they came down to a vote. No, but I think we've come so. to a compromise on the on the budget. Total. No, I mean, uh, overall. I mean, in, in, with everybody's yeah, input, everybody had, everybody's had everything. equal input, a chance to say, We've come to a compromise through good collaborative efforts. So I think that's the way it's supposed to work. You know, I, to me, salary is, is, is a showing of respect. They respect the work people have done. And there's a big part of that. And when someone says, you know, I'm having a hard time here and I'm working my tail off and, and they're appealing to us, look, I'm, they're not asking for huge increases. Mm -hmm. You know, not like private sector people ask for. They don't get bonuses. Really, they don't get, you know, this. I just, just think it's, and then, it's, then we, then we buy half a million dollar fire trucks, um, and million dollar two, one point two million dollar fire stations, and mm -hmm. two fire departments we're subsidizing, and we're going to quibble over sixteen hundred dollars. I mean, I think the real money is in. Let's look at having two fire departments, and we do we need to have two fire departments? I keep coming back to this for 15 years now. Uh, I just think it makes no sense. We so know that discussion. So can I? So that my discussion could come up at town meeting. We could save yeah, tens and tens of thousands of dollars. So let me. My final word on this is: I want to say really, really clearly, this is not about me not respecting the people. You know that I do. I, know it I respect them. Right. I value them. I like them. It is so not personal. I would be taking this position. I think you guys know me well enough at this point to know that it's. I'm just. Uh, that's why we're leaving. I'm just that's leaving. How, I'm, how I'm, how I, I'm right. just doing doing math. And right, and that's fine. And it's and not. Per, it is not personal. I guess we just like we said. We've all collaborated. We've all had input. Yep. It's been, I think it's been a really good, good process. I One agree. of the better processes we've done, I think, for budget. Right. I mean, we've worked really hard. We did. And and we all, I think, we're not it. pushing if we don't if we don't hit some points of tension. Right. Right. So you're going to figure easy. that because I just want to know: Are we going to be able to sign off on this budget tonight? 
so that we can give the information, the figures to Sandra. Yeah, Wednesday. I mean, I'll multitask and, and, and I'll come up with what is, if that stays the same, and then we'll know that this is where we landed as the, yeah, this, I'll just, I'm just going to use my calculator. So, and I guess I do want clarification. You're, you're supporting the budget at the end. You just. Well, we haven't decided on what the budget is in the end. Well, with these changes. This, what with these this? changes. Yes, we have to make a motion to. Well, the, and the thing is, is I'm I was. The final number. We can meet again. We can meet next Monday night. I know Judy's getting antsy for us to give her pieces for the town report. Well, I'd like to agree to this, the changes mm -hmm. tonight, uh, contingent on uh, staff input at your Wednesday staff meeting. And if the staff feel like they, that we need another meeting, or, or, or you come away with the impression, not staff, mm -hmm. the impression that we should have another meeting because new information came forward, mm -hmm. then we should add it. And if, if not, then we're, then we're good. I'd like to vote on this tonight. And you saw with the contingency right. that you, you got to check in with staff. Right. And you saw the changes made to the highway budget, which reduces yep. the highway budget. Mm -hmm. And the changes that I mentioned that Cliff and I made to the three different items, the legal, town hall, town fund, town reserve fund. <coughs> town hall reserve Town fund. hall, yeah. That makes $15,400 change. Plus the, what was it, 80 for the tractor? Taking the $80,000 off the warranty thing. Yeah. Take it off. Yeah. Um, I think we do our best every year to be as fiscally responsible as we can be to the taxpayers because it all comes out of all of our pockets. Yep. Um, noting that some of the bigger pieces, the digitization and the computer IT support are pieces that are bigger because they really need to be. We just don't have a choice. Um, so is that your motion? Yes, that is a motion. Okay, is there a second? Do we have a bottom line on what the percentage, what the bottom line is, period? Do we know? We don't know, do we? No. I'm not. I don't, I don't want. I don't work know. that way. I do the percentage increase based on CPI for salaries, and I look at what our needs are. And we could. It usually comes out pretty reasonable. We could do. We could else. do a another meeting. I could be here. Cliff and I could be here if Cliff's available. I mean, I and we could do it by mm -hmm. and we could do it by phone. I can be here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But I mean, we could do it during the day. Oh, let's say a session. Of Are you available by phone? No. No. No way. I never know. Mm -hmm. so I, mean, I, schedule, I scheduled a meeting for right. two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and already have three conflicts with you on it. Um, no way. It's just so we could nuts. do. We could continue this meeting to say. Um, Thursday night. What's going on? Isn't there something no, Thursday night? School boarders. If I did the math right, it's one point eight. But don't quote me. Increase. One point eight overall. overall. Does that include highway? No, that's this. That, that's, that's just this. Um, it's not. So are we taking that eighty thousand dollar truck out? Tractor truck. I think we just take it right that's off the road. Off. I thought that's what just we were doing. I thought that's what we talked about. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's no, that's good, um, and that okay, but that doesn't help. This that doesn't have anything to do with this, right? Right. That right. only has to do with when we're looking at the bottom line if all the articles pass, right? Um, and it still leaves roadside mowing for two times a year. Right. And I'm going to let Doug Grout myself. I'm going to let him know soon that we are going to want two times mowing, and we need to decide when those are. Yeah. We need to let him know sooner rather two, than oh, later. Oh, two, but not five. We right. lost yeah. the idea two. of five. That went out the window somewhere. Okay. Right. Um, but the problem last year was we didn't get to them early enough. Yeah. So, so if this, if this increase, if this number is, just tell me the number it's lowered by. Um, well, I'm doing add this, take that away, so I'm a little nervous, but if we want to just rely on this back of the envelope, it's 1800 oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind, don't listen to me, 26, 
Well, all, all we did is change that 4000 That's all we changed. Just In the end. The salary I paid. Yeah, duh. Yeah, I was making it more complicated. Okay. Well, then, actually, I'll just do it this way. Oh, and we... We, we, got, the, we got rid of the uh, $10,000 line item. Right, but we were added six of it into the other one. Right, so, right. so, so then that was net change the net is net is four thousand. Right. That's all. That's all we did. So then I put your bottom line is seventeen twenty five, six eighty five. Which is. Oh, that. They took this amount and subtracted yep. eighty four k. And you come out with. In this figure here. One seven. So instead of it being the one eight, but just what's the percentage increase? Uh, do you have something set up to do that now? No, I can do that. Let me put all this on there. We need a calculator. Is one six seven last year? Is that where we are right yes. now? Yes, one six seven is last year. So take each three one seven equals one six seven. Something just over three percent. I'm good with that. Cliff's math ends up the same as mine. I'm good with just over three percent. So that will help us when we meet with the fire department. It is. I mean, and, and, and it does make sense that we should stick by our own. Absolutely. You know, if we're going to be consistent with what we're asking of them, then we do the same thing. Yep. That's right. It wouldn't be right if we didn't. That's, right. That's good. And so, Denise, I think I'm not going to be here when you meet with the town staff, but thank them for working with us and let them know the success that they are contributing to. Oh, we do. By time. making their compromises. And right. we thank them. We went from 11.3 to 3.05. Anybody else hear this? <laughs> or is it just me? 3.05% instead of 11.3, which is what we had. Mm -hmm. And that includes taking out the tractor, right? Taking out the tractor. We, yeah. And it includes the savings in the highway department that Toby came up with, the ones that we did last staff meeting. I mean, it's been, a, it's truly been a team effort. It really, really has. Yep. So the overall bottom line is 3.05%. And we're giving yep. at least a 2.7% increase to staff. Right. Which is pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And I think we now have, because of this, it will help us next year. Mm -hmm. I will update it and okay. keep it and share it with you guys, right? This is... Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Helpful. Um... All right. Now, the last thing I'd like to do tonight. All right. So, did we? There's a motion. Yeah. There's a motion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Need a second. Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. And assuming that it all goes well, we'll let we'll let you know if it doesn't go well Wednesday. I can't imagine that it's not going to. I think it's been a real, they know how hard we've been working. Because they look at the minutes, they always look at the minutes like the next morning. Because Katie gets again, them up right away. a contingency in there that we could revisit this if, if new information comes up or, right. or if they're somehow problematic. Yeah, like I said, I don't, we're, you know, we're going to pretty much, it's going to be sold as kind of this is, this is the way it is. Right. Unless there's a real significant challenge right. to it. I think it's been a really good compromise in working together. 
everybody's got to give a little. Mm -hmm. Now, no, like here's a here's a situation. So this year, maybe being delinquent tax collector is a breeze. So say next year Donald Trump is successful in shutting down the federal government for a year, or some other disaster oh, and they have happens, a lot of people that can't afford and to there are all these people who aren't paying their taxes, or we get saddled with this huge school tax and there's a boycott protest. Right. There are so many things that could happen right. Right. that we can't anticipate, yeah. and it might require our tax collector to put in more time. Mm -hmm. So that would be inappropriate. That the discussion to have with her right. that this was not of that. this is an unusual year mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we've got more than a normal workload and then again that if 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 Those that if that were salaried right. and, and and we'd anticipate that person on average working you know some set number of small number of hours per week mm -hmm. on this work and all of a sudden that becomes a forty hour week job. Then you have that. I think we have that conversation. Well, then we have that one. Should we have a big problem? One right. thing that we yeah, don't, we would have a very one, big one thing we, we don't have a special town. Meeting well, one something. thing yeah. we don't we haven't yeah. talked about at all, and is the concept of to keep in mind is when you have those blips where it really is extreme. You know, if you've got a in my world, if you've got a team that you're asking to work the way that we are saying, 55 or 60 weeks hours a week for months on end. Um, they may not see a boost in their salary, but they but they might get a bonus right, right. and an acknowledgement. And I, and I like that way of doing it because you're not building the base. That's right. You're right. acknowledging. It's a little harder to do in a governmental well, setting. Later. It's something to keep in mind now right. because once you've built it into a base, mm -hmm. then even no, if it, no. even yeah. when it dials right. back. Right, right. An there it is. Right. There's the expectation. So those the problem are is with government, everything's open, and so if we have like a bonus fund, right. then staff would be like, "Why didn't I get a bonus?" Well, because yeah. you weren't working 60 hours a week right. all summer right. long. Right. Right. Sorry. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying. So yeah. It's, yeah. It's difficult. It, but we have so that's our job though is to manage yeah. that. Yeah. So are you done? <laughs> have one more thing for tonight: select board report. Um, Rose is taking a couple I read at it. I read it. I don't think I gave you, I didn't have anything. And you, you. Oh, well, you the one I gave you typos? It might have been. There's some typos. So I'm going to go through. through. I'm going to ask Barbara, I think, who hasn't read it yet, to read it for typos okay. and mm -hmm. grammar. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're good with that, I'd like to yeah. get that off mm -hmm. my plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I didn't like the section on technology. We need to completely revise it. <laughs> Okay, so you can do that by you tomorrow. Great you can do that by tomorrow morning, right? You wrote it. Right. <laughs> now, the only question I had, um, I, it sounds like everybody did have a chance to read it. After I sent it out, I thought, you know, maybe I should include that we're, this will include adding a public workstation for accessing mm -hmm. the files. We could add that. That would be a big um, change. And then the other thing I thought about, and I decided not to put it in there, but maybe the sense among the board is it would be a good idea, is I refrain from saying anything about how we could imagine something of a return on the investment in this technology. I don't know how you, yeah, I don't know how you explain a return on the investment. I think the fact that there's gonna be the cots, the people that know what that means are the people that use it, they will be happy. Sounds like, right? I think that's why I decided default to this is a necessary I mean, evil. Right. The people that do the title, the title searches and the lister type people. I mean, if they read the town report, I don't even know how many people actually read it. But no, if they see, if they, longer, gonna right, if they see that in there, they know what that means. So they know that that's going to And it's going to be searchable, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 We confirm that. Yeah. yeah. And that's the big piece of it, right? Yeah, otherwise you might as well bother. <laughs> yeah. oh, that, that word, yeah, that's the only thing that I wonder right. about. Your word local, mm -hmm. just go down one more line and over to the right a little bit. Inviting local IT service companies mm -hmm. to submit. So are they local? So we're talking about one more line. sending this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are they local? These are the yeah. other yes. Okay. Dark meaning uh, within the state. Get that out of here. Local, I think, uh, are the technology. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a big chocolate person at all. Dark. I'm going to have chocolate. I don't know. So I don't know. Dark. The word local. 
Uh, like 80%. We could take it out. We could change it to right. Vermont Basin. Uh, yeah. Or would we just leave, just leave local out and just area what we just right area i mean when they say like local, area it services what do they mean when they say local um corn that could be like from new hampshire yeah. right mm -hmm. i think we just leave the word out yeah that was the only thing when i read that I and thought, then we're not local? and then we're not stuck if we get somebody really good from new hampshire yeah that's fine I, I can as long that. as they're within 100 miles Mm -hmm. That's the call-out definition. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder what the definition was. That's what I was just asking. Oh, what is the definition? 100 miles. No, mission. 100 was unofficial. Unofficial. So we're just going to take the word local out. When you talk right. about local food, you're usually like 100. 100. Yep. You remember when Carol Legata mm -hmm. went to the AG's office? Yep. The Shaw's was advertising local corn, but yep. the corn was coming from New England. Mm -hmm. Right. But not from Vermont. That's what started the whole, how do you define local? Yeah. Yeah. That was yep. a big deal. Yeah, it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's one of those right in one third. One of one his legacies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They were yeah, and in, in summertime, the they do say local. Signs yep. Out of embarrassment, but the AG's office said they couldn't enforce it. Right. But out of embarrassment. All right, so we're good with the select board report. We'll check it for typos, grammar, and that kind of thing. Can you remove the word local? Okay. So I think we're good. Is this report? Are we going to be on the thing tonight, or are we exhausted? What else? Oh, what else we have? Um, we talked about the appreciation dinner, which is now going to get, you get usurped by a public forum. Um, we haven't done any minutes in a while. Can we not do those tonight? Are we going to do an executive session? I wanted to briefly. Yeah. Can we let's, let's do that and not do the minutes. Okay. I want to talk about this two-step verification. Oh, two-step verification. Go ahead while these guys are packing up. So I got this email today from um, the registrar at .gov.gov. And they've added two new security features to the domain. It's called two-step verification. And so what does it mean <coughs> beginning today? Um, and you have to sign up for this, and you have to enable the, your account, and it has to be before February 13th. And so it's a password that protects your account. Um, and it adds another step to the login process. And after you enter your password, you're going to be asked for a passcode from your mobile device. Oh, yeah. And That's then, so, so basically what it is, is you need an authentication app to generate the security code and blah, 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 blah. So number one, I have an old iPhone. I don't have any apps on it. I don't know how to do apps. I don't know how to do any of this. And so I think that I don't need to be the billing point of contact anymore. And especially because we're going to pay for this annually now with the town's credit card. Right. Sam. So can you um, give us this and we'll give it to Sandra on Wednesday? Or do you want to email it to her? Tom Clark is working on this. Is because we received this email from website stuff. She had passed it around. Oh, okay. And I was equally confused about the whole thing. But she had replied that it makes it sound like anyone who's involved with logging out with the website needs to use it. But in actuality, it's an administrator level. So she took it off of my plate and other folks who yeah it's only me now. judy and roll i see who Rolf. can log on to this i'm the billing point of contact right. rolf is the technical point of contact and judy is the administrator but this is oh. the thing you were paying for on your personal credit card yeah right. and so, right. so i just paid no... for it for the last time right so i just need to so maybe yeah, you i'll just talk, maybe, to, yeah, yeah, um, just talk to judy maybe for her sandra Sandra would it be the like, billing. Right. So point. it sounds like Judy. I would I would send it to both of them. Yeah. Send that email that you got and say, you know, help. Yeah. Do I need to still be doing this or whatever? Yeah. I'm just gonna right. give it up because um, yeah. I don't I don't even have cell service at my house even no, if I wanted to. So um, yeah. So anyway, so that's our two step verification. Okay. So you're gonna take care of working with Judy and Sandra on that. Yep. Let the record reflect. Yep. All right, so can we have a motion to go into executive session so that Jerome and Katie can pack up? And we can discuss per BSA section whatever. 313A3, mm -hmm. personnel matters. So moved. Second. Okay. 
at 9.36? Yes, I vote yes. 